promotional consideration paid for by the following. Orlando, Florida. It's time to celebrate 25 years of spandex action. That is not spandex. It's Ranger Stop 2018. Join us for three days of more phenomenal fun. Check out the dealer's room, including a live demo of the upcoming Heroes of the Grid board game from Renegade Studios. Save the dance floor with the Heroes vs. Villains Ultimate Showdown Party. See amazing panels from fans and guests alike. And of course, meet your favorite Rangers in person. Here's this year's guest lineup. Austin St. John, Walter Emmanuel Jones, Audrey Dubois, Steve. Steve Cardenas, Karen Ashley, David Fielding, Mike Olasky, Romy J. Scharf, Peter Marie Rickson, Catherine Sutherland, Barbara Goodson, Nikia Baris, Christopher Kamen Lee, Selwyn Ward, Tracy Lynn Cruz, Patrick David, Sean C.W. Johnson, Michael Copan, Jessica Ray, Anne Marie Crouch, Lee Ming Hu, Mike Ginn, Andrew Gray, John Mark Loudermilk, Azim Risk, Sierra Hanna, Christina Masterson, Cameron Jebo, Brennan Mejia, Yoshi Sadarso, Peter Sadarso, and for the first time ever, two actors from the Japanese Super Sentai, Yuta Mochizuki and Reiko Chiba. So join us for Ranger Stop 2018, taking place at the Holiday Inn Suites across from Universal Studios, November 9th through 11th. Head to rangerstop.com for more information and to purchase your passes. 25 years later, it's still Morphin' Time. This is a presentation of RBT Entertainment. Welcome to the WrestleCast, presented by RBT Entertainment on the BrookenInfinite.com, Podomatic.com, iTunes, and wherever else we find news, find audio recording it live on Twitch.tv's official RBT Entertainment channel. I fucked that up. Let me try that again on RBT Entertainment's official Twitch.tv channel. This is what happens when I'm co host list. Wait, wait, At wait, least wait, wait, in wait. the regular what's, department. What's Twist? <laughs> What a is twist, yeah. Is Twist a new a streaming service I don't know of? <laughs> I wish we could I wish we could have like a streaming service where you could pay us nine ninety nine a month. Honestly, we we be we well, we do have like a thing where you can pay it like you can subscribe to the thing. And anyway, we were talking about professional wrestling, both in the mainstream and the independent scene. My name's Matt J and TWK is out on assignment. Actually, he's out uh, 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 due to a family uh, due to a family issue. Nothing, no big deal. He is uh, take care of, taking care of family business. Something that needed to be done. Uh, well, I'm not going to go into too much detail, out of respect for him. But and Mike shall say, "Hey, I do pay you nine ninety nine a month." That is very true. <laughs> That is very true. So Tina McKay is out uh, do, uh, because of to take care of family business. And uh, meanwhile, I have uh, found two gentlemen who are more than capable to uh, to fill the gap and then some in the trolling my ass off department. We first have you heard the the, the voice of Mister Mattis Leonhart. Now remember, 
when you get into the WrestleCast headquarters, don't look suspicious and try and all you can to find Excalibur. I must have the power. You That's fool! Power. You fool! You fool! Oh, I'm on? Yeah. Play off, Jackie! Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> da -da 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 and you said, it, dude, you said Excalibur. You fool! <laughs> Alright, man. The Shades would be laughing his ass off right now if he was listening. The rest of you, watch more anime. All I can say there. Or How watch you been? the or watch the Heart House of Hardy Halloween special. That is that just about is as good. good. That's just <laughs> yeah. about as good. That that is which by the way, we'll get to that in our <laughs> verb, but how bad you you're going from anime, and that's the House of Hardy Halloween special. Uh, to be fair, I've been watching some anime on the way home, okay? I have to distract myself from the world of bullshit. There's wrestling this week, okay? All right. Because, and uh, otherwise, we got someone else. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a birthday boy in our midst. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you that dude in the straw hat, Shin Tiger Carl. Shin? Yeah, that's not my name. What, what, what's your name? Terry Ferguson. It's a funny name. <laughs> <laughs> For the last time, Mr. Reynolds, your name is not Ted Ferguson. Yeah, it is. It's on my podium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, you... I'm here for all that wrestling stuff, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah, can you smell what Snow Cone is cooking? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Reynolds is minus $10,000. Yeah, I don't give a crap. <laughs> so did Vince. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll take uh, uh, Under the Giant for 1 million points. <laughs> Yes, folks, it begins. It begins. We're not even like... And then we have to go... And then... We gotta go way back down and do some bad stuff. And then we get to the good stuff, which was the women's wrestling this week. But, you know. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, pay-per-views of the year. Uh, dudes, uh, why is the ghost of Burt Reynolds in my room and he's wearing a large foam hat? Because he thinks he's on Celebrity Jeopardy. Well, it makes sense since he keeps asking about Andre the Giant. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's not Burt Reynolds. That's a monster. In a, that's a guy in a monster mask. Let's see who this villain really is. Old man it's Peterson. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh. Yeah, what better way to spend one's birthday than among friends and trolling t Ma uh, Matt? Before we do anything, I'm hey, going to take care of a, a couple of things of business. Now, a lot of people are are, are expecting my my thoughts on, uh, as Adam Pacitti of Cultaholic.com would call it, crown shite. Here's the thing. I didn't watch that shit. I was at work. Thank God I was at work, apparently. So here's what we're doing. We will dis we will tell you the results. We'll tell you what happened. And then we're going to move on to the show that we have planned. Because, as I said last week, I had no, I had no interest in watching it. We told you it was going to be shit. We s knew this was going to be shit. You and for those who are going, this all this is said, this is going to be fun to watch it. And in two, two hours, two hours, oh my god, this was shit. Folks, we warned you. We told you if it was going to be shit. We warned you. <sighs> and Shintar Girl has like a couple minutes worth of, of vile vitriol to take care of it. So I know for a fact, Mattis, you watched it. How much, How shit was well, it? Well, well, first off, let me just you state that I watched it at in sin. So that you didn't have to. So just remember, I died for your sins. 
Oh, and you and you supported no. WWE in the in the process. Also, you're Jewish. Yes. Not Catholic. So was Jesus. Uh, <laughs> and um, hairball is not even worth any bun at all. That's all I'm going to say no. there. So I'm going to read the results real quick. And the court, the, the 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 tournament happened. The final was supposed to be the Miz versus Dolph Ziggler, and then Miz got quote unquote hurt. Shane McMahon subbed. And won the World Cup to determine the best in the world. Yes, a part-timer in his 50s is, quote, best in the world. A field that included Rey Mysterio, Jeff Hardy, Randy Orton, and Kurt fucking Angle. I had no... Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go on a, a, a one of two rants about this. You People, know what? Here's know, what I'm going to do. I'm going to read the results real quick. Nakamura retained over uh, R- Rusev. Uh, the Bar ret- retained their tag titles over the over uh, the New Day, which they, they had a better uh, they had a better entrance on Tuesday, if you ask me. Uh, Styles over Samoa Joe for the WB title. Brock Lesnar, with the help of Baron Corbin, squashed Braun Strowman. And in the main event, DX went over the Brothers of Destruction in a 27-45 matchup. That'd probably be the one match I'd watch out of the whole affair because fuck this shit. Why Brock Lesnar? We'll get you know what? Later. I, I, okay. I've, I, I have vented. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Mattis, you could talk about this show on your own time. I'm just going to let Shin Tiger speak for the both of us at this point. No. Shin, you may fire when ready. You got two minutes. Keep, Go. Keep in, keep in mind, I have not watched this show, but what in the blue, sweet, and spicy hell were you thinking, WWE? We just got through oh, nearly two years of Brock Lesnar holding a dead title for uh, hostage. And Raw not having a cha- a proper champion. Then we have some light at the end of the rainbow with Bra- with Roman Reigns getting the belt. I know a lot of people didn't particularly like Roman Reigns being a uh, universal champion, but I was willing to give him a pass because at least he was there. At least he was there to uh, from a, by a weekly basis, either showing up or doing some kind of match. Not th- why this is worse. Not only putting the universal title on Brock, Brock Lesnar kills the title again, but it killed Braun Strowman. It killed Braun Strowman. His push, everything he has been up to in the last two years or so is dead and buried because of this. He, Baron he is Corbin, no- who is upper management, threw Baron- a belt in his face. Five F fives, one, two, three, dead in, inside of five minutes. He is oh, it's, dead. It's worse than consider all the shit that Braun has been through over the last two years, being buried under chairs, being being hit with every finisher imaginable, going through five guys in one elimination chamber match, literally surviving a vehicular murder attempt by freaking Roman Reigns and walking it off, and you're telling me that he can't take a belt to the face? Really? Monster can't take a belt to the face after after getting after nearly getting murdered in a vehicular car crash. And he got squashed at that. He got John Cena in that squash match from a few years ago at Sur- at SummerSlam to had be fair, more offense. Yeah. Than- than Braun Strowman did in this one match. Braun and got the a single... Uh, and the big Braun difference got, there is it took 16 suplexes and four F5s. And he still kicked out of the uh, first the first two. Yeah. Braun did not kick out of anything. Braun got one boot in. Actually, that was Braun it. Braun kicked out of all of the F5s except the last one. Yeah. And he should not have been hurt to that degree, considering all that has been put into him and pushed into on us about how much he can take and how freakish of an individual he is. So yeah, Braun Strowman 
he's dead. His push is dead. He is not no longer a main event talent. And so now, consider now now who else can challenge Brock at this point? Brock's not going to be there anymore. He's going to be all fucking around the UFC. Who, who? What belt do they have to chase? What? Who's going to be and People next? are going to say, well, what about Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins for the Intercontinental? What about that? This whole, the universe, whole, this whole, bronze whole chase of the universal title had, had wrapped up the five other guys in this entire storyline, and now that whole storyline was bullshit. I know they had to call an audible because of what happened to Roman Reigns, God bless his, God, and hope he gets better, but this, it, this is not the way to go. You don't, you don't build, and now, and people are saying, oh, well, AJ's gonna get his win back. It doesn't matter if he gets his win back. It's a non-title match for bragging rights. There's no point to it. it nobody wants to see that. The belt is dead, and it's going to be dead for a long, 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 long. That belt is garbage. The universal title is garbage. It was it, it it was it 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 was it was garbage the moment KO dropped it to Goldberg. It's been garbage for the last two years, and unfortunately, it's going to be garbage for a very, very, very long time. And, transfer- and cure, you may be worse than Jack Swagger. At least Jack Swagger put, showed up every week. Yeah. And to also, train. also, I think this bun, I think this clip said it best. I expect nothing, and I'm still let down. Yeah. For it was a, I, I didn't expect anything out of this house. I did not expect anything about uh, from 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 um, Crown Jewel. I just had it on the background while I was waiting for my fucking food. And there you go. Hey, and to transition over to the to the to the so-called World Cup, I didn't have faith in it anyway. They bu- they built it up like crap because out of all the qualifying matches, only two of them ended in a decisive pinfall. The rest were either battle royals, foobard endings, or DQ finishes, or had some kind of shenanigans involved. That right there told me that this this tournament was gonna be bullshit. But then at the end. When we had, some, when we when we had fucking Shane McMahon be proclaimed the best in the world over Seth Rollins, over over Dolph Ziggler, over Kurt friggin' Angle, that was just a slap in the face to pretty much everyone. It's as if the- they, I'm gonna say this, and then we're gonna move on to to more positive and more news and stuff because this was bullshit. Like, if I had watched it, I probably would have stopped at Shane McMahon, at Brock Lesnar. Because I got nothing. I do not give a shit about the main roster. You have the... I, I, no. I, I refuse. The fact that we're dignifying this for more than with more than two minutes of talking points with this is too much. Like, I honestly, I know, Mattis, I know you want to talk about it. I feel it would be dignifying this with a response if we kept going on this. I, but, I, I just want 20 seconds to say one thing. WWE didn't give a shit about this. Yeah, it clo- it shows. They just didn't give a shit about this. They didn't give a shit, and I didn't give a shit. We have apathy. We, we can debate on it, but they just didn't give a shit about this. I'm going to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this off with a horrifying realization I just made. This show ended off with nothing but part timers going over. Yeah. Brock Lesnar, a part timer, is Universal Champion. Yeah. Shane McMahon, a part timer, won an eight person tournament he wasn't even in, and the show ended with four part timers. Four. Hell, it started with a part timer at the request of the Saudi government. I'm done. That's sad. That is so crazy. enough of that uh, cup of fucking sadness. Fuck Crown Jewel. You shouldn't have watched it. Brian Zane was right in skipping the fucker. How about we talk about something good, you know, that happened, you know, on Sunday? Like, yeah. oh yeah, how about that thing that happened at Nassau Coliseum in Long Island, New Goddamn York, huh? 
Yeah, yeah that, that event that, that maybe came, that could be in for the running for pay-per-view of the year. Yeah, let's talk about that. No. Let's talk <laughs> about no. pay-per-view <laughs> pay-per-view of the year contender here. Sender is no. here. No. Ladies let's, and gentlemen. Uh, Matty, before yeah. we do this, we got to do this properly. Yeah? And yeah, yeah, and jump in when you know when to you know when to jump in. All right, all right. Oh, what a 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 this reminds me why I hate fucking YouTube's copyright policy. <laughs> no, this is being the elite. It's a parody. Oh. It's a parody of a ripoff of a parody of a pa It's We made a funny. Yes, we made a funny. <laughs> this is me laughing. <laughs> oh, no, you, you, you make it laughing? Funny! <laughs> God, God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> ah, I love being the elite. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about <laughs> evolution. Clip of the week. A clip, a piece, a piece, small piece Move of it. match of the fucking night. Take a listen as two of the four horsewomen show you how the fuck it's done. Did you hear the impact of Becky's face bouncing off the desk? Connection from all limbs. Now setting a ladder up right, right in front of the German announce table. Becky is still down and out. We should do it the ladder. She's obviously uh, planning to use it because you're setting it up here. Ladders are widely regarded as the most dangerous oh, weapon. Oh, Becky! Becky using her championship! Blasting it off the face of Charlotte Flair! What did you play again, Becky? That's the only way you're ever going to get my title! That's the only way you're going to get my title! You understand? You understand? Right. And now it's Becky's turn to drive Charlotte into the table to our left. And now Charlotte Flair being uh, set up on the table by Becky Lynch. Uh, they... oh God, somebody get her off there. Becky Lynch is now going to climb the ladder that Charlotte Flair set up. Becky Lynch is going up top. Somebody stop oh! Becky Lynch. Find yourself in a, in a large automobile. Once in a lifetime, talking heads. Once in a lifetime. Anyway, so yeah, how about that? Um, they had uh, some things happen. A lot of things. A lot of things happen. Lovely. Let's talk about the the, the figures. Uh, WWE Evolution. And I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the the, the refrain the the, the chorus finish up there but uh yeah evolution from the nassau veterans memorial coliseum in uh uniondale new york and uh the attendance figures they claim sell up but uh, ten thousand nine hundred is the attendance figure uh, uh, advertised mm -hmm. they had uh, a whole lot of people the uh michael cole renee young and beth phoenix the people the 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 three people a lot of people are going and people were going, wait a minute, Michael Cole calling it? Yes, because he called the Mae Young Classic. Yeah. And he did a good job. I am yeah. not as... People are upset with this because Michael Cole was there. I'm not as much. He called the Mae Young Classic. He did a damn good job, but he's going to have to call the final anyway. Why not let him do the whole paper? Plus, Beth Phoenix did great. Renee Young is good, as per usual. Mm -hmm. You know what? Why not? They had the German and Sp German and Spanish announced tables because we need to smash some tables. 
Lily mm-hmm. Garcia, Garcia did the call for the first couple of matches. JoJo did the title matches. Caleb Braxton kid called the uh, the, uh, the 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 thing of a ball for the NXT Women's Championship. And oh uh, yeah, and people are going. Well, what about that botch from that that botch from Michael? Oh, yeah, the, these two men. I mean, women. Look, he's human, folks. Get used to it. <laughs> He's using saying yeah. men in, in a last man standing match. He, he's allowed to have a botch. He's, if, he's, if the rest of his stuff is good, he's allowed to have a botch. And he and honestly, he had a good. He did. He did good. He did good. Some, something tells me Vince wasn't in his ear as much, if at all. At yeah, Evolution. like he if he like he had his hands on it. I like the I boards will probably just to set just just to give the old thumbs up and just dare to be behind Gorilla as a figurehead. Maybe yeah. that's probably what I've read as well. Here's what we had: uh, they had the UK title match go as a dark match uh, because uh, Rhea Ripley won uh, uh, the title in a match that has yet to air on NXT t- uh, UK TV. Whoops, we we've talked about that last week. But she retained, got de- defending against Dakota Kai. Uh, in the uh, match in the main card proper. Um, they had uh, Nikita Strauss and some other person open up with a beautiful number, some rock and rock and or roll. Yes. I do believe it was the uh, again I'm blanking her name, but she was the same guitarist who played um, Ember Moon at NXT New Orleans. Huh. She did look yeah. familiar, and she I believe she did. Uh, and I believe she did. Uh, I believe Nikita. Uh, I believe uh, Nita Strauss uh, did uh, do uh, Shinsuke Nakamura's uh, theme song at WrestleMania as well. Yes, he did in the entrance huh. of the year. Yes. Uh, yeah, I don't think I don't think we're going to dispute that. <laughs> uh, main car proper after that beautiful uh, rock and roll song by women, because women. We started with a tag team match. Stratus and Lita taking on Mickey James and Alicia Fox, who replaced uh, Alexa Bliss due to, quote, uh, to uh, undisclosed issues, but a lot of people are saying it's concussion related. It won 11 05. The Legends won it. Now, I have to say right off the bat, I thought it was genius of them. But they made this the free match that was available, I believe, on Twitter. Yeah, this was a, they, they actually aired the first uh, 15, 20 minutes of the, the event through twitter which you know what and it's good because it it gets you going oh that's gonna be good also just a, 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 on a match alone great way to light up the crowd yeah and but this more importantly a- most people who may have not who may not watch wrestling if they're trying to get people back in the last time they were watching wrestling was the attitude era so who would they remember from the attitude era we didn't not- um, in the women's division, Trish, Lita, Mickey James, yeah. on a lesser extent, mm-hmm. makes and sense. Guess who was all in this match? <laughs> so, uh, and Alicia Fox, but sh- she's like the grizzled vet, I guess you could say. She was the longest tenured quote unquote person in that thing. But yeah, and who Kevin Dunn likes her, so uh, <laughs> for some dumb fucking reason. By the way, that would not be the last time you hear Kevin Dunn's name. You will be hearing Kevin Dunn's name at the end in a loser bracket. Uh, ah, so, gotcha, gotcha. It, so uh, I thought it was a good match. Um, a little sloppy, obviously. Ring but rust on Lita. ring rust is a is a thing, but it, uh, for what it was, the, the the idea was to get the crowd going. It got the crowd going. Go ahead, Shin. Shin, do you hear us, Shin Tiger Curl? Oh, no, we lost. Hello. 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 Can you hear us? Because I think you tried tried to talk a couple of times, and uh, we didn't hear you. I can hear you. Okay, so thoughts. (laughs) Oh. Hello. Can we hear you? Oh, okay. Ah. Overall, I thought it was a good opener. It was like like uh, Mattis said, uh, Trish and Lita had like quite a bit of ring rust, mm-hmm. but 
Oh, it was it, it it did its job. If it was any higher up on the uh, card, I would have had a little bit more complaints. But it was a good opener. Got the crowd hot. I liked it. Yeah, and I do yeah. want to say this. Like I said, um, there's more Lita, and, and that's not a knock against Lita. The and the ring rush was more in the timing issue. There were yeah. several, in particular, like a botched pin uh, fall. Yeah. Um, so yeah. the timing issues were there, but Trish looked amazing. So at least she looks like she can still go. Yeah. Trish looks like she 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 hadn't lost a step, but then again, she is a practitioner of the yoga, so that probably has a, its hand in it. DDP. But uh, no, I I I'm great with you. The timing was a little off, but this the purpose of this match was to get a good crowd pop going and the good and just get people warmed up. It you was know, a fun this, nostalgic match. This was not designed to be like the match of the night. This was designed oh, to get people dude. going. This was the curtain jerker. This was uh, the curtain jerker. Yeah. Uh, the, to use the saying that Vince McMahon would say, no chance in hell of that. <laughs> yeah. But it did its purpose, and it got people roughed up for a 20-woman battle royal, which started awkward, but got a great finish. Let me mm -hmm. tell you who was in there for those who may missed it. Also, uh... Full entrances, or, you know, abbreviated full entrances <laughs> for everybody. Mm, that was that's very good. nice. It was. It was. Oh, so here's, this is, was uh, by uh, order of elimination, but it was uh, Nia Jax who won the the uh, event. Uh, the people who were in there were Peyton Royce, Billy Kay, Molly Holly, Kelly Kelly, Tori Wilson, uh, Sonia Deville and Alundra Blaze, who looked amazing in this match, and I'm going to bring up a spot with her involving her and another person in there. Marie Canellis, Lana, Mandy uh -huh. Rose, Dana Brooke, Michelle McCool, Naomi, Carmella, Ivory, Asuka, uh -huh. Asuka, Alundra Blaze, Alundra Blaze, Asuka, fight! <laughs> Tamina, Zelina Vega, and Ember Moon. Uh, all fell to Nia Jax, who is now has a future women's championship shot in the making. Couple of things. A little awkward at the beginning, but yay. Mm -hmm. Awesome finish. Couple of things I noticed. Uh, love Tamina and Nia Jax doing a tribute to Roman Reigns. There Spot you go. on there. Very nice. Asuka... Asuka versus Alundra Blaze. They went at each other. Yes, they did. For those who, don't, who may not know, Alundra Blaze started her wrestling career in Japan. Or got a, a chunk of her training in Japan. How many of you think, I'm willing to bet they went strong style on each other and went a, a little stiffer than usual? I know she... I know Minoru Suzuki knew that they went strong style on each other. <laughs> yes. She, she understands you, Asuka. Go strong style on her. Then after that, no witnesses. <laughs> oh, there's a shitload of witnesses in this battle royal, but that could be just, you know, strong style rust. And yes, I heart gamer Kelly 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 still still can't run the fucking ropes to save her life. But then again, neither could Lita, and we're, we're a little more forgiving to her as well. So, look, I'm more forgiving here. Well, at least Lita could run the ropes at one point in her life. Kelly Kelly yeah. has never run the lo ropes <laughs> she ever. Never run. But like I said, I'm more forgiving. This was obviously she was just in there because why the fuck not? You know. I'm more forgiving there, but uh, but yeah, they, they, they had some spots. Lena Vega had the hey, I was in there. I'm gonna lim limit him. I want it, want it, want it. Oh God, Nia Jax is still in. I'm dead. Uh, poor Lana. <laughs> oh Lana, oh Lana, 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 Lana. So uh, I, I do have some notes on this because um, sure. I was a little disappointed with the battle royal. A little disappointed. Uh, part of that came from there was it was supposed to be like a fifty woman battle royal. No, this was uh, th th I think it was advertised as uh, 21, 22, and then it went to thirty, and then it went went back to twenty one. This was not for supposed to be fifty. No. Oh, there, there were there actually were reports. Um, were reports, but there were rumors, and I think at this point I was like, 
But nah. because of that, the fact that there were no NXT women in there, I yeah, like that, you had like okay, that's you true. Had yeah. Blanca Blair there, like you had several up and coming NXT uh, female superstars that the exposure would have been great for them. Didn't need that they needed to win it, but. Again, just it was to be fair. It was missing a, a, a quite a bit of craziness from Nikki Cross. To be fair, <laughs> to be yeah. fair, yeah. to be oh, fair, God. Can you it, more Nikki Cross, Cross. Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know what? For, like I said, I, like I'm looking at this as is. It was fine. No. Oh, I'm not it's, saying it wasn't fun. I'm just saying it's like those are the. I'm going. To, I I'm being a critic. Here. You're a big that's critic. Yeah, that's critical. fair. That's fair. <laughs> so, um, but no, I liked uh, Michelle McCool. Looked great in it. She looks like she can still go. Yep. Um, is this Taker? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and Mrs. She Taker. looks like she hasn't uh, lost an ab at all. Alundra Blaze definitely looks like she can still go. I uh, oh. have to be a little bit better than. Uh, I would love to see Alundra Blaze versus Asuka. I would also like to see Alundra Blaze versus Mako Sakamura. But, uh, you know what? I think it's one of those cases. <laughs> Alumna Blaze versus name of four horse women. I think. I think at this point it'd be like, yeah, he is. Yep. <laughs> yep. You have a good match from that. Oh yeah, you you'd have a good match there versus Oscar. Obviously, Io Shirai. We'll talk about her. Speaking of her, that, yep. uh, Tony Storm. Well, you have to uh, take a bit to talk a bit about the May Young Classic. Um, when we I, mean, get... I don't think we need to too, talk about too much. I mean, the tournament was good. It was fun. They had a couple of great matches in there, well, including I, I this one, the final. The winner, uh, the 2018 Classic. Takamura. <laughs> Can I talk? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Whose show is this anyway? Tony Eos. Storm versus Io Shirai. Uh, Tony Storm, she won. She won. Also, Io Shirai. God damn it, that moon salt. <laughs> God damn that mood salt! By the way, the battle royal went sixteen ten. Uh, the May Young Classic final went ten twenty. Again, what the fuck that mood salt? My God, mm -hmm. you know it's beautiful, and at the same time, oh Jesus Christ! You can definitely see the Rey Mysterio influence in her. Yeah, um, yeah. She, she was a lot. I was glad that they allowed her to open up her offense a little bit more. I would have liked to have seen the match get at least five more minutes, though. This <laughs> it, that, that's my one criticism. They could have gone five more minutes. I don't think people would have complained a little too much. When it's that good, five more minutes is just icing on yeah. the cake. Agreed. <laughs> there. Yep. As you can see well, from the chat, Gabby those... is a is a big fan of Io Shirai. Mm hmm. And people could cry about Io Shirai, but she's signed with the NXT folks. She was in no matter what. This was the case of the right booking decision reigned. Tony Storm got the win, but in the case of uh, case of good any good wrestling, Tony Storm went over. I, Io Shirai didn't need to go over, but she got over. Both women got over in the process. True, like, but I also think that it it, it wouldn't. Have, Either wouldn't have been bad. No, and this was this was the case of you you had your you you you, you, you had your pick. You could just for all I know they could have flipped the coin and it would have been fine. But they Io Shirai had the hype package. Tony Storm I think needed maybe that one extra push. Mm -hmm. But I also so, think that they were doing it to push the NXT UK Women's Title because I. I think that's yeah. Part Tony of Storm power. is UK based, so she'll be going to the NXT UK brand, obviously. Yeah, so that's why I think ultimately they went with her. But again, I think either winning was it a no. I don't think people would have complained. There would have been some nitpicks about it, and that the Tony Storm with the UK brand still being new that that still makes sense. So that's fair yeah. enough. Yeah, and just just because, and as we've seen in the past, just because you. Uh, don't exactly win the Mae Young Classic doesn't mean you're not destined for success. I mean, oh no! Look at, look at Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler's a great example there mm -hmm. too. Yep. Even though Adam Pachidi didn't, but uh, nah, you know. <laughs> well, he's Adam Pachidi, so yeah, uh, you know. <laughs> 
Next oh, up, God, six people women. People calling out that botch on YouTube hard. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, when he uh, did the little review for Evolution and he forgot to mention the NXT match. Oh, no. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got roasted hard. I, I I do not blame the wrestling internet internets for that. Uh, there, next... is now a, there is now a pinned uh, thing, <laughs> comment on the top of that video saying, like, I'm so sorry I forgot this. Here's my thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> next. <laughs> uh, six women tag Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Natalia. They went over the Riot Squad. Ruby, right? Liv Morgan, Sarah Logan. It went 13 10. Just me, or there could have, could have, uh, could the, could the Riot Squad have used that win more here? <sighs> they did, this but, is... but I, I think it worked either way. Honestly, I didn't really care too much for this match. And, uh, like, Not that would have been, like, to me, it's like those faces went in. It's like blah. It's, it's just like it's not that the, the, the match was bad. It's no, just, no, 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 no. Not I at just all. didn't. I, there was just no hype to it. No, no real build up. At least compared to some of the other matches, and it, it, it there's just nothing particularly special about it. It was just there. It. Yeah, I, I'd this say was, was obviously the cool down match, but it, yeah. again, this was, the way they've been. Uh, "Quote unquote," building the riot squad, they could have used the win, but that's my one nitpick there. Yeah, that's true. They they it, could have got obviously that. it hurt from not having the build that it oh, yeah. should have had. But that being said, I thought the match was a whole lot better than it had any right being. In fact, it's one yeah, of my I, top matches of the night. Actually, um, I thought they did. I loved all the false finishes. I love how the match built and built and built to the. The finale of it, I thought it worked great. Uh, yeah, it, I was really shocked by how good the match actually was, considering the build. So, and it's because of that that I think that the uh, Riot Squad isn't hurt that bad by it. Right, there you go. And next up, NXT Women's Championship. By the way, the the uh, the last match was thirteen ten. I mentioned that already. Uh, Shayna mm -hmm. Baszler over Kyrie Sane by technical submission. Shayna Baszler, the first ever two time NXT Women's Champion. They went twelve ten. Maddie, I have to correct you. Technical submission would help of her friends. Yeah, well, the the the, the, the like we're, we're not reading this like we're reading this officially, officially, officially. Mm -hmm. But obviously, you have to bring up the fact that the uh, two other uh, members of uh, Ronda Rousey's Four Horse Women showed uh, up and caused just, interference, uh, and shit got real. Yeah. And oh, by the way, uh, oh, by the way, those two have been signed to WB contracts. What? What a quicky dink! Yes. Yes. What a quicky dink, huh? Uh -oh. oh, and by the way, Shayna Baszler, Ronda Rousey, both women's champions. Yep. Do you sense the build-up coming here? I might be reading too much into what WB may or may not be wanting you to do, but God damn it, I could see it. It's going to take a lot of finagling if they want to pull this off. Yeah, especially considering what's going on in the match after what we're talking about. But that's, that's another thing. We, first off, Shannon Bay is looking good. Kyrie uh. Sane. Love the that. Love the entrance with the with the treasure chest with the NXT title. Oh my god! That's, I, love, I like gushed over that. That yeah. that she done that at NXT. I was like, that's that's working your fucking gimmick right there. Yes, it is so adorable. Oh, if there's anyone more over than Kyrie Sane in the women's division in NXT right now, outside of of uh, Nikki Cross recently, I I have not seen her. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, right. And, and I dig, I dig the new theme song. I like nice. both of them, honestly. But, but um, we're we're gonna need a rubber match for this. Yeah, this is. I think well, this, this might was be a, supposed to be the rubber. <laughs> well, this was supposed. Yeah, this well, was supposed to be the two, rubber but... match. Yeah. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I, I, don't I don't count um, the um, the, the May Young Classic. I'm uh, just talking about strictly NXT. 
In that case, yeah, we need the the, the, the definitive ending, obviously. Well, they well, remember, they've actually then they already faced each other three times. Who cares? <laughs> we still I'm need another match here. There's, here. The be- story is obviously not over. <laughs> well, actually, what I think I'm what I'm hoping they're doing is I would like to see Shayna Baszler uh, and her two friends versus um, Kyrie Sane, Ida Sarai, and Mako Satamora. That's if they could get Satamora to show up again, but well, that'd be something. It'd be something. Mm-hmm. Good luck with that. that good luck with that, but that, that that's a good idea. I'm not going to deny it. But that, that is another story for another day. Great matchup. The ending just just screams they're setting something up and it's four horsewomen related. Yeah. Call it a hunch. Big one at that. Hold on. Next Look. up, longest match of the night and uh, the match of the night. Uh, last woman standing. Uh, they, they say it's the first ever last woman standing. Right? Wrong! Uh, Oscar versus uh-huh. Nikki Cross would like to would beg to differ there, but that's another story for another day. Mm-hmm. Becky Lynch over Charlotte Flair, twenty eight forty, and these ladies took full advantage of that time. Yes, sir. Holy Jesus! It, this is this is what is missing. In the main roster of um, women's of, of the women's division on the Just WWE. say women's division, yeah, yeah. It's this is a blood feud. Yeah, I mean, these days when two women are feuding, it's usually over catty high school bullshit. It I mean, I mean, look at um, look at uh, Nia versus Alexa. It was just them two capping back and forth with Nia, with um Alexa acting like this petty school girl calling. Uh, uh, Naya, a this bully. was bullying. This was high school bullying. This that year, this this Becky this, versus Charlotte. This there was, was betrayal. Bullying. There uh, there is betrayal. There is you know the, 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 there's the, the, the idea this long term friendship out the fucking window because of greed. And it and even though Becky has her win, or even though Becky had her win over Charlotte. At SummerSlam, she just kept lording it over her. It it evolved her character into this this bitch, and I love it. And, and yet, and yet we uh, we love Becky Lynch all the more for it because there there's something about booing a Rick, uh, a flair that's just natural. Yeah, there's that natural arrogance, and Becky Lynch worked her ass off and still got nothing. Charlotte Flair, kind of like her dad, silver spoon in her mouth. Yeah. And yet WWE has the roles reversed. Who cares? Well, we do because Michael said, "Well, there, she's got a cult following." Fuck that. Whole crowd was for Becky. Yeah. Cult following. It, by cult, cult following, following you mean my everyone. ass. <laughs> everyone must be in this cult. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty big fucking cult, if you ask me. But I like. <laughs> I like this version of Becky. She just, oh. just so raw and vicious, and just not really giving a shit anymore about it's, who she pisses off. It's like Naito, except it's she's not tranquilo. She's like, "Fuck all this shit. I'm a beating. I'm gonna whip all of the lasses." Because she's and, the man. Yeah, she is yeah. the man. Yeah, and she's Finally, also I, and she's also an eleven on the scale of one to ten, and how awesome she is. We'll get to that in the third she segment, is, folks. She is. She uh, is I've, I've called her this many times on the on Rift Downs, but she is Boudica. Ah. If, I, if I may interject for a We'll a talk token. about the PWA, uh, whatever, thingamadeely in the third segment, okay? Oh, no, no. I, want to, I, I need to interject to do a little bit of a rant about this match. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I know some of you may want to nitpick this match. To you wrestling critics out there, know your role and shut your mouth. Aren't you the same guy that was about the neck pit, a, a neck pit, that was nitpicking the fuck out of a, of a battle royal about a few minutes ago? Let me work my gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> He's a professional nitpicker. <laughs> this, you dweebs, are what we call money. Yeah. Because these two women are just printing money. Hand over fist. It's the four horsewomen of wrestling. 
Put both up. Is also what we call a match of the year candidate. You without are now question. dismissed. Without, yeah. without question. Maggots. Goes without saying. <laughs> Thank you, Sergeant Slaughter Mattis. Okay. Uh, like I said, this is the four horses. We have to work hard to fuck this up. I.e. Sasha Bailey. But even then, they, they kind of landed on their feet. If only there, uh, just a few rungs down the ladder, unfortunately. But that's there, the thing. There was some botches in this match. There were, there were, but this is but, a case of this is a high plunder matchup. There's going to be yeah. some botches here and there. There's no, there's no helping it. It yeah. didn't hinder the qual yeah. the overall quality of the match, though. Exactly what I'm saying, and I that's mean, important. If if the match is that good, a few botches here and there aren't going to deter it. That is awesome. I love so the the ladder spot that obviously was clip. God damn it. Uh, of course, you got to love the WWE crowd for it. They start throwing chairs into the ring, and all of a sudden, they start chanting ECW, ECW. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is technically a New York crowd, so the, 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 the crow throwing chairs, going back to Terry Funk calling the chairs. Yeah, you, I got that, too. <laughs> and, and, of course, that spot where, where Becky buried... Um, Charlotte in the chairs, and then she just kept rose up like the fucking Terminator. Like she and, rose up like Michael Myers with like a axe to grind with that look yeah. on her face. Jesus! And, and she, they both sold their looks. Uh, we had yeah. Becky, Becky went went from I want, I want it. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Like, oh, fuck what the oh, fuck, fuck are you? I'm f p fucking pissed, is what I am. <laughs> what are you? I'm livid. Woo! Oh no! It's it's nothing, Becky. It's just I'm just a little absolutely livid. <laughs> but that ending—that was the perfect ending. Yep. Also, I, a callback to how Becky Lynch lost her first title. Also, that table bump. Mm -hmm. Let me sit here and say this: that may be the best finish I've seen in a last man slash woman standing match since Cena and Umaga. The one with the ropes, I'm assuming? Like the yeah, rope oh, show? Yeah, that, 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 that. That's the only I could buy that. that. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I, I, I could buy that. Yeah. And at least it won, at least it won duct tape. Mark that is. Many people <laughs> consider that one of the best last standing matches of all time, so. No, I can buy that. I can buy that. Yeah, true. That was the co main, by the way. Main event. <laughs> Rousey versus Bella. With Bray at ringside, Raw Women's Championship, it went 14 15, and it ended with Ronda killing a Bella. So, all I have to say is, Matty J is really happy that he didn't make a bet with me that the Bellas can't wrestle this match. <laughs> I, I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't know such thing. No, I'm saying you're glad you did it. I mean, yes. to be fair, the match was built around interference. So it was 14-15, by the way. This was built around Nikki uh, Brie Bella doing some interference and all that stuff, which it went it paid by numbers. And we're, what, nine months? Seven months into uh, Ronda Rousey's full-time WB career here? Mm -hmm. She's looking good. She's... I, I, She's making, still making some rookie mistakes here and there. The 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 um, adjusting of the get. Trish Stratus must have been back there flipping her lid over the fact that how many jocks, wa the jocks watch as uh, V one from <laughs> OSW Review would want to call. How many times Ronda adjusted her gear during that match? That's a nasty <laughs> habit that needs to be knocked off. But fucking okay, fucking state of your dress, young lady. <laughs> Trish, I know you're not listening, but I hope to God you you talk you pull her pull her aside saying, "Listen, get better fitting gear, <laughs> or at the very least, don't do the you know if it's part of like what you did at MMA, do it once, maybe twice as part of the fire up, and that's it." Yeah, it, this was an an okay match. It should not have ended the show though. No, this this was obviously a, a Vince McMahon call because they they wanted. I get the feeling they wanted sure that Becky Lynch was the heel. They were going by heel face logic, and Ronda Rousey 
when winning the main event as a babyface would send the, fo the the folks happy. So in that logic, it makes sense. But and you know, the other reason for it though is also because, and I know people hate to hear this, but the fact that you know Ronda. Uh, Ronda's a big draw. Big draw, and it shows because they sold out the building on the fact that uh, Ronda Rousey was going to kill a Bella. So, yeah. and, and, but more importantly, there are a lot of female fans that like the Bellas. I know yeah. Pugsley is a huge um, uh, Bella fan. Uh, but and, I and, Pugsley, I, and Pugsley, if Ronda wasn't such a trash person, yeah, we know. <laughs> We know, but it's, this is no. this is one of the WWE's long-term projects. So there you have it. We have to be a bit objective at this we point. We do. Yeah, this is one of those like you know, T Dub doesn't like to talk about Ronda Rousey because of her transphobic tendencies and, and previous statements. I just like I said, I don't give a fuck about your politics. Are you good in the ring? <laughs> and if your politics yeah. bleed into the ring. You're going to fuck right off, cunt Hogan. Yeah, well, all I, all I have to say is leading up to Survivor Series this month, this will be Ronda's biggest test because, honestly, she hasn't really fought a lot of quality opponents. She, yeah, this was a lot of a lot of uh, soda cans and, and uh, you know, Nia Jax. I mean, we had to be fair. To be fair, man, to be fair Alexa Bliss was a good test for her as well. This is one of those cases where Becky Lynch is the real deal. This is one of the four horse women. This yeah. will be a true test. This is not, and this is not going to be no caddy back and forth Twitter Ooh. feud. This is expect to go into a fight, Rhonda, with the with with Boudica herself, the yeah. the Celtic warrior queen, who as is as long as they don't. Have them do a, a try to do a promo feud. I think she'll be fine because Becky will end her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This because is Be Becky's promo game has upgraded. Uh, Becky's promo game has, has increased, and there's you don't have too much dirt on too, too much. Uh, hey, she's a slut dirt on, on Becky. Becky's a hard worker because as well. Let's let's be honest here. Don't break your neck as you go through the ropes. Is going to be promo of the year. Yeah. <laughs> She shamed. She shamed a Hall of Famer. <laughs> yeah, and I'm pretty sure Edge went. Jesus Christ, she owned me. She, she got me. She, like, she probably. He probably went. God damn, that's a good burn. He, she, he probably hugged Becky, going, God damn, woman, that's a good burn. Congrats. You you have my blessing. But um, <laughs> no. All we needed was all we needed was Michael Kelso coming out there and yelling, burn. <laughs> But I will say this. I was looking forward to this uh, match because of the promos of Ronda Rousey. Because that promo on yeah. the go-home show, where she says, I will end you. I'm like, oh, shit. No, 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 no. The, no you know, the, the ending would have should have been the door, uh, the door promo. Yeah. <laughs> that should have been. Because I end you, a lot of people were cringing on that. And to be fair, I'm like, ooh. The A material came the week before there. But, you know. But no, I like both to be honest. But and I thought the match was good. Bella, I, uh, both Bellas, I thought performed outstandingly well. They were great heels in the match, mm -hmm. and it, it had this was the be of all the Ronda matches so far. With maybe even the Ma uh, WrestleMania mixed tag one, this I think had the best flow in it. Yeah, I could see, that. I could see that. Yeah. So. I, I also, thought, Pugsley. Also, I'm sorry, Pugsley in the chat. How did Edge straight face that burn? To be, to be honest, I would have died. As yeah, but you know what? Edge is a P R O uh, fashional. That's what he is. He's a pro, yep. he's a professional. <laughs> a professional. Yes. Yeah. Which is the same thing you would say after what happened this past Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> a professional. Yeah. The new day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, good Lord, yeah. <laughs> um, but, no, I love that, and I am so looking forward. I mean, God, oh, God, we have to get into Survivor Series. I know we'll get into it later, but damn it, I want to... The match is announced so far. Oh, my God. Yeah. Ooh, this is... Ooh, daddy. Although the tag situation is going to be kind of weird. The tag situation is going to be a little weird, but we are not there yet. We are not there yet, my friend. Yeah. We will get to it eventually. 
That being said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that is it. And I'm, as I get my phone, because you know what time it is, and I read them off of my phone now. Yeah. Want to say that uh, next week, do not expect a WrestleCast uh, live or otherwise, because I'm in Florida with the boys. With no, no, boys. Dalton Castle's boys. My boys, Easy Shades, Ace, Mike Shell in the chat. Say hi, say hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. <laughs> he will respond eventually. Uh, but that said, uh, let me just uh, get a thing. I, I am missing something right here. Oh, there we go. I got it. There we go. Slow phone is slow sometimes. It happens. Too many apps on. I, I cleared that up. It's time! For your emails and comments of the week, you can send them at the Russellcast at gmail.com. Uh, this is brought to you by one of the things, uh, the book, the book, the book, it's right on the screen, New World by Greg Haynes. Hey, folks, that's Shin Tiger Girl. Oh, that's my book, guys. Yeah. I have yet to buy that book because broke as fuck, also Florida trip, but I am going to get that book eventually. I have the link bookmarked. It's there on my screen, and it's also available through either via Kindle or uh, paperback on Amazon.com. Yes, made indeed. Now, of course, uh, one more time, one more, well, the second to last plug, as you'll hear the plug one more time. Ranger Top 6, we're at Dora Comic Con, November 9th and 11th, 2018. Took Riffs Live, we'll be there, we're riffing something. I, I believe you'll, you folks will have a, an enjoyable time joining us for that. It'll be on Saturday, 2.38 to 3.30 on the p.m. of that, uh, that particular day. You will have a good time. I guarantee it. And all that good stuff. They had to cancel Sandy oh, Selner, who was one of the alphas. Of the and uh, due to health reasons. So obviously, get your well soon, Sandy. Met her at uh, Power Morphicon. Sweet lady. Just a sweet person. Uh -huh. And of course, going back to the book, as uh, Evil Reverend said, Buy the book! <laughs> buy the shirt! <laughs> buy the book! There you go. I don't have a shirt yet, but buy the book. <laughs> yeah, that being said, we begin with the hairball, and um, there needs to be a little setup. This, um, he had to change this up a couple of times, so I'll read the original email and play the actual list of buns he wanted me to, to, to play, basically. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we begin... No, no, what, the words I've uh, put in my uh, that, I've, that went out of my mouth will make sense in a few seconds. We begin with a hairball proper. It was like this. Actually, hold on. I need to bring this back up. There we go. <laughs> Rip Van Winkle. Well, fat boy's pissed, and you said you want to know what you what you you want to know what he thinks about shit jewel. So play the following buttons. And ladies and gentlemen, I have I have uh, read this ahead. I'm glad I did, because I have the particular playlist of said buns in the order per, as uh, as uh, as ordered. Ladies and gentlemen, Haribo's fought on Crown Jewel. Fuck! Fucking bullshit! Get the bricks! Ah! Fuck you! Get the Shit. You, you stupid, stupid motherfucking Ozzy cocksucking goddamn piece of shit, single fucking piece of shit! How the fuck do you consider that the greatest match of all fucking time? You motherfucker! I hope I'm fucking goddamn Jake, can you please read on before he gets pissed? There you go. That's uh, that's that, that's all the buttons he wanted me to hit. Oh, and happy birthday to Shintire Curl, so Kugami Bun, please. Let me just uh, set this up. For those who may or are new to this uh, show, and I know there's a few of you who may or be new, we have a tradition here at RVT Entertainment that every time someone brings up the fact that they have a birthday on the stream that we produce, we hit a particular button. Shin, it was, it was brought up. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kugami Bun. Happy birthday! 
Happy birthday to you. Ladies and gentlemen, Japanese Rod Roddy from Common Writer, I believe it was O's. I fucked up. I know I fucked up. But there okay, you go. That then. that's Gugami. Yeah. Okay then. And it's it, it's creepy. Yes. <laughs> Sounds creepy. Yeah. He dresses funny, that's why I call him Rod Roddy. Come on down. <laughs> My first guess, yeah, it was those, and yes, uh, every, uh, that was the first joke I made on Toka Riffs when, uh, when, I, when I was a guest on said program, so there you go. Nice. All right. And uh, I believe I'm, so, oh, well, I screwed up. I should have fit uh, this button first. <laughs> also, Mike Shell sent us some cheers. Fifty dot uh, fifty dollars, uh, some fifty dollars, uh, fifty-five uh, bits, I should say. Excuse me. Yeah. Thank you very much for the donation, Mike. As per usual, keep some of that money for Ranger stuff, by the way. Jeez. Hey, moving on. Now uh, we begin. Uh, usually we have someone screaming French Otaku, and Mike is it's not available to do that, but I will just say French Otaku is up next. Hello, Russell Kaus. I'll put it this way. I'm not, I am not covering Crown Jewel. The show was so controversial as it is, speaking as a Muslim, that I will not watch it, that I will not watch it let alone cover it. All I'm going to say is Triple H got injured. You're too old for this shit. Sorry. Shane McMahon won the tournament by replacing runner-up The Miz. Seriously, what the fuck? And to top it off, Brock Lesnar is the new Universal Champion. Fuck you, Vince. Fuck this house show and fuck WWE to hell. Shake. Give me some of that. Wow, we are we are playing we are playing the incred the Iron Sheik tonight. The Iron Sheik is getting some play tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> He's asking this. Fucking bullshit. Thank you. Sheep. Now on to the good stuff. I hope. Evolution saw it, and it was uh, one of the best pay per views of the year. For a show that was 100 percent women's wrestling, it did good. Love the final of the May Young Classic. Tony Storm won. Called it! Shayna Baszler is now two-time NXT Women's Champion thanks to some interference. The six-woman tag was surprisingly great. Ronda destroyed Nikki Bella and Charlotte ver and a be versus Becky Lynch. Last woman standing was kick-ass. Overall, they need to bring that this next year. Rating four out of five. You know what? I just realized we did not give our ratings. And I think... Four out of five would be my rating, actually, for for the pay per view. I don't know about you two. I give it a, a solid four out of five. Yeah, Matt, Mattis. Yeah, I have a four out of five as well. Yeah, that yeah. this is a, yeah, that's my rating. That's I I had the fucker written down too. How about that? And I forgot the anyway. Thank you, French Otaku. We are in sync so far. SmackDown, uh, <laughs> SmackDown, Raw, SmackDown. Well, I'm not going to review, but I'll say that Styles versus. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the evil reverend donated twenty dollars. Ah, yeah, we just got a thing said. Uh, we have, I believe, we went through Streamlabs, so that's gonna go straight to. I just saw that. Uh, the RVT PayPal. Yeah. Um, thank you for the donation. I'm gonna have to talk to uh, to the shades to get the twenty dollars now. <laughs> He's gonna he's gonna get an email from the uh, from the PayPal going what the fuck? <laughs> yep, twenty dollars. You you can buy a lot of water burger with that. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna have to write that down. And let uh, the shades know about that. Meanwhile, but thank you very much, Evil Robert. Much appreciated. Uh, let's see. Uh, back to the email. I'll say that Styles versus Brian was great. And I like the interference of Samoa Joe at the end, choking both men out. That followed up into the crown jewel. We will not talk about that. Ultima Lucha Part 1. First, the first part was great. We say goodbye to the police officer who surrendered her half of the medallion to Aerostar. You will be missed. The reptile tribe uh, uh, retains. By the way, sick mandible claw by the white rabbit on Sammy Guevara. Agreed there. Taya destroys Ricky Mundo and kill shot versus Ha Son of Havoc. Amazing match. Also, we salute you, Lieutenant Shane Strickland, for your contribution. Overall, 
Can't wait for the second part. Agreed. Yes. Winners, WWE Evolution. Congratulating to all the women in this pay-per-view. Bravo. Ultima Lucha Quattro Part 1. Again, can't wait for the season finale. Everything will burn. Losers, WWE Crown Jewel. Fuck this pay-per-view. Glad I skipped it. Say so, as am I. You know, Evil Rev. I think that that's just about that. Yep, yeah, it's not much, but a little. Every little bit counts for Ranger Stop. Agreed. Yes, indeed. Losers. Uh, Triple H getting injured again. You need to step away from the ring. That's it for me. Enjoy Ranger Stop and Crown Jewel. Can kiss my fat, hairy French ass. Signing off. <laughs> and he's not in the, in there, but ladies and gentlemen, our final email this evening. Oh, no, no, our second to last email to me. We got one more after that. Comes for our good buddy TWK. Keeps it so short and simple. Says, hey, first, can I get a fuck Crown Jewel from everyone? Everyone. I, th I think we could get that. I think we could get something like that. Fuck Crown Jewel. Fuck the fucking Crown Jewel, you fucking piece of shit. Thank you, Shin. Mattis, uh... the Saudis. That'll work even better. That'll work even better. There you go. Secondly, Ultima Lucha Quattro Part 1 was rad, and holy mother of Mattitude, Killshot has a face under this mask. That is all. Oh, and fuck Crown Jewel. <laughs> and finally this evening, we get to... Super Die Hard Gamer? We have Tal Kair here. Hold on a minute. I just want to get it done here. Get her done. Yeah. Ah, and there's a button involved. I forgot. Yeah, that's Die Hard Game here. All right, there we go. We have confirmed. Camera fades in on Gotham of Vimp City to, to, to the sound of Die Hard Game here screaming and cursing echoing through the city. Camera then goes to Die Hard and the band of Factory. Oh, oh, hey there, folks. Didn't see you there. Brock Lesnar is, univer is now two-time Universal Champ. God fucking damn you, Vincent Kennedy McMahon, and God damn whoever booked this fucking one-sided piece of shit title match. All caps, by the way. Tell us how you really feel, Die Hard. <laughs> WB, you want to know what happens when you make Brock Lesnar champ again and piss off your fans who are intelligent and smart enough to see what's happening. They get fucking fed up with your bullshit and leave and then just quit wrestling all together or just start looking for alternatives. Actually, I support the alternative part. Don't just quit wrestling. There's better wrestling out there, unless you're the shades. In this yeah. case, I, there's nothing I can do for you. WB fucked you up, too. Fuck you. Fuck you too much. Uh, and uh, apparently Brock wants another invasion angle, but with UFC because w if he wants to go to UFC as WB Universal Champion, thus causing a riot, thus uh, a riot uh, uh, causing people like Conor McGregor to beat up WB wrestlers. Seriously? Seriously? Who and gives not a fuck what you want, Brock? Yeah, and not to mention that we are going to get the same exact shit that happened with Brock when he first won the Universal Championship. I'm glad I don't have a subscription to the WB Network anymore, and I'm a fan of New Japan. Well said there. Good. And I wonder where the uh, the the button comes from. Angry video game nerd about me out here, and he's a warning, but he's saying a warning to people who who are listening on headphones might want to turn your volume just down just a tad. I do not have it downloaded. Because I didn't download it. I don't prefer I prefer not to download these things. <laughs> AVGN goes nuts. That's the title of the button here. There you go. Makes sense. Vince, WWE, have you ever heard of the definition of sanity, of insanity? 
It's trying the same thing over and over, expecting a different result each time, and this is exactly what you're doing! I love WB Universe is fucking fed up with your shit with Brock Lesnar for the first time. The first time, and I guarantee you that they won't be falling for the same bullshit twice. I better wrap this up for Batman, Robin, and the Joker get here because they're supposed to be having a fight here in 30 minutes. Losers! Whoever was responsible for booking the title match between Braun Strowman and Brock Lesnar to make it a very one-sided. Vincent Kennedy McMahon and WB for very obvious reasons. And the ass clown that decided to attack that his family on this uh, his family on Instagram. Braun Strow Strowman's family on Instagram as well as Instagram for not doing shit about uh, uh, saying this isn't cyberbullying. Let me read this article real quick. He posted a picture of a dude, uh, quote, make this trend, quote, hashtag make this trend. This beyond pisses me off. It's one thing to attack me because you're not a fan, but attacking my family is uh, straight bullshit. And it's a load of crap that Instagram says it isn't bullying. It doesn't fit the guidelines of bullying somewhere. And he's basically going after a bully on Twitter or Instagram in this case. And that is indeed bullshit. I will agree there. Uh, winners, Daniel Bryan and John Cena for not going to Crown Jewel. Becky Lynch for retaining her SmackDown Women's title Evolution. And myself for getting a region-free modded Sega Saturn on eBay for $150. And also getting the deluxe edition of Batman the Animated Series on Blu-ray. Mm. Very nice. Good on you. Good, 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 good haul. Good haul. Mm -hmm. Die Hard exits the factory just before Batman and Robin arrived on his own uh, custom field and heads off the parts unknown before Gotham is attacked by another member of Batman's infamous rogue gallery and singles the camera to kill the feed as the camera pans in for a close-up. Okay. Didn't need the extra stuff, but well, I'll take it. There you go. Fair enough. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. And uh, let me just adjust this right here and say those. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> well, that's making Botchamania. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, 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 we could do a whole whole episode of Bat uh, Maddie Botchamania. <laughs> Maddie Mania. <laughs> Uh, I know, Matthew. If you're listening, don't. <laughs> You'll go nuts. This is too way late. too much stuff. Too late. <laughs> Those are the emails and comments of the week. You can send them at the Russellcast <laughs> at thewrestlecast.gmail.com. We shall return with some new stuff and stuff and things when we come back. Do not go far, folks. And now a word from our sponsors. Orlando, Florida. It's time to celebrate 25 years of spandex action. That is not spandex. It's Ranger Stop 2018. Join us for three days of more phenomenal fun. Check out the dealer's room, including a live demo of the upcoming Heroes of the Grid board game from Renegade Studios. Save the dance floor with the Heroes vs. Villains Ultimate Showdown Party. See amazing panels from fans and guests alike. And of course, meet your favorite Rangers in person. Here's this year's guest lineup. Austin St. John, Walter Emmanuel Jones, Audrey Dubois, Steve Cardenas, Karen Ashley, David Fielding, Mike Olasky, Romy J. Scharf, Peter Marie Rickson, Catherine Sutherland, Barbara Goodson, Nikia Baris, Christopher Kamen Lee, Selwyn Ward, Tracy Lynn Cruz, Patrick David, Sean C.W. Johnson, Michael Copan, Jessica Ray, Anne Marie Crouch, Lee Ming Hu, Mike Ginn, Andrew Gray, John Mark Loudermilk, Azim Risk, Sierra Hanna, Christina Masterson, Cameron Jebo, Brennan Mejia, Yoshi Sidarso, Peter Sidarso, and for the first time ever, two actors from the Japanese Super Sentai, Yuta Mochizuki and Reiko Chiba. 
So join us for Ranger Stop 2018, taking place at the Holiday Inn Suites across from Universal Studios, November 9th through 11th. Head to rangerstop.com for more information and to purchase your passes. 25 years later, it's still Morphin' Time. This is WMOB Mobile, 12 on your channel dial and 12 in the TV ratings. For decades, Vic Karate has trained students to be Power Rangers with martial arts moves like the Rabid Mantis, the Kicking Mule, the Tsunami, and the Dreaded Doubler. Now you can be a Power Ranger with our Study at Home program at Sega's new game, Power Rangers the Movie. You'll battle new enemies from the movie and master the moves of every Power Ranger, even the White Ranger. Take Vic's advice. If you don't buy it, you can't try it. Sega! Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the Movie for Sega Genesis and Game Gear, each sold separately. It's breaking down all over. This is not where Adam Cole wants to be in the middle of War Raiders by himself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Adam Cole just got long darted. Hansen and Rowe yeah. devastating the Undisputed Era. And Bobby Fish. Oh, oh man. Oh, the devastation being laid in the path of the War Raiders. Oh, that's Kyle O'Reilly. Oh! oh. 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 Now. strong now! Oh. And the Undisputed Era equaling things up. I mean, what's going on? The numbers game finally coming back into play. Oh! oh. oh Here comes Ricochet! Ricochet! Oh! The air wiping out everyone! Oh! The United Kingdom champion! Oh! oh! Right to the hand of Adam Cole! Oh! oh! The Bruiserweight just tearing the Undisputed Era apart! Mercilessly! Ooh! And now Ricochet, clean in the ring of Undisputed Era. This is not how this fight's gonna happen. If you ways are hell bent on destroying each other, then you can do. A takeover, you will be inside of War Games. For the record, Faisley, they were indeed chanting, Bruiser weight, Bruiser weight, Bruiser weight. Yeah, and Saturday night's a good night for fighting, and that's what it's going to be in a uh, couple weeks with TakeOver War Games Deuce. Yeah. Holy shit. Let's start. By the way, welcome by the Rosscast, Medici. Tina Gay's not here. I'm here with uh, Mattis and Chin Tiger Curve. With yep. the, uh... <laughs> oh my God! Let's Dude, talk about first off. Going to be awesome. Oh, let's talk about. Well, actually, let me tell you what, what I share. What, let's share with the class what I found on Facebook here. Here it is. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. By the way, Triple H, he booked this shit, not me. <laughs> Had to be shared <laughs> for the class here. There we go. Let's talk about that real quick. Actually, oh. I don't think even Vince booked this shit. I think they just put it in a random role app and said, fuck it. I think they probably let, they probably let Jose from, 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 the, from the cleaning staff book it or something. But I'm not just saying, that's probably how like Shane won the World Cup. They like, put it in a random role. Like, really? You want Shane to win it? 
they, 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 it was booked he by a it. it was booked by a magic eight ball. That's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> or magic paint glove if you're into if you're a Warhammer 40k fan. Ah, aha. There you go. That makes sense. So let's talk about war games real quick. Holy shit. We have a proper war games four on four here. Yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, I, I'm not sure if you guys can hear this, but I am I'm I'm drowning in my own salivation and, and anticipation for this. <laughs> You're not alone. Not me neither. Here's the actual official booking here uh, via Wikipedia, but we all know what the booking is. It's a War Games match. The Undisputed Era by Adam Cole, baby. Bobby Fish, Kyle Riley, and Roderick Strong, they take on the UK champion Pete Dunne, the North American champion Ricochet, and Hanson and Rowe, formerly Warriors. known as War Machine, now the War Raiders. Because heaven forbid anybody confuse a pair of large individual Viking motherfucker tag team of wrestling with, you know, a convicted rapist of a porn star. <laughs> well, they're, none of them are, you know, are, are are convicted, right? I hope not. No, there was the former UFC fighter who was named War Machine who beat up... Oh, that guy. Oh, yeah, man. yeah, 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 yeah. For the record, no. that They are not... Re they're not associated with that douchebag. <laughs> okay. Yes, they're not. But like, no, that, they're not. That was probably <laughs> one of the reasons for the name change. <laughs> so, um, so Pete, what do you think about? Yeah, Phoenix come on Warfare? in out of the uh, out of the uh, injured reserve list here. Come on in. What do, you, what do you think, Pete? I don't understand what the bloody hell this war games nonsense is. But as long as I can get my hands on Roddy Strong and his little Girl Scout troop. I'm more than happy. And if I have to share the ring with bloody Ricochet and those bloody hairy Muppets, War Raiders, then so be it. There you go. Before we continue with uh, with Pete Dunn real quick, Pugsley just wants to know what's going on. Uh, I do know what this what is refer what Mattis is referencing. Basically a guy who uh, was a former MMA fighter, and I stress former here. Uh, he was uh, known, had a reputation for not uh, letting go of uh, leg holds and submission uh, attempts after he after the tap out was and the referee called to, for the match to stop. He actually would end careers using those knee bars and everything else, legitimately. And in MMA, that's bad. That's like douchebag material here. Well, uh, his his uh, basically he was a black ball for a lot of MMA, MMA promotions. He was actually suspended and banned from several uh, athletic commissions, including the Net Nevada State Athletic Commission. And eventually, uh, he beat up and it wasn't a rape. Actually, it was uh, it was uh, well, sexual assault. I, I... It was sexual. It wasn't sexual assault. It was straight up assault. Yeah. It was well, uh, conjugal was assault. Like yeah. Where he also sexually assaulted her as well. Well, sexual. Well, she she well, she was. It was she. She well, they were together, but obviously not. It was. Uh, it's not sexual assault, though. It's it's not. Oh, uh, I'm not saying it was both, though. Domestic abuse. That's what yeah. you're looking for. It was domestic abuse, and he was convicted of that, obviously. Yes. And assault and all the other things that make him a garbage ass person. Absolutely. So that's why he's right, and his I do not know. I can't think of the name right now, but his nickname was indeed War Machine. Yeah, it just happens to be War, War Machine, Machine. Just so yeah. you know, and Hanson and Ray Rowe were known as War Machine in the Indies. So it was complete coincidence. Uh, the War Raiders are better and are good. Yes. There you go. So that's what was being referenced to answer your question here, Pugs. I hope that helps a little bit there. Now back to the awesome stuff. Yes, fuck yes. All the fuck yes. yes. Um, Ricochet, who is king of flippy in a match with a cage with no roof in it. <laughs> and obviously the rule here is uh, if you if you do escape the cage, you disqualify, you lose, you're out of the match and you lose to your team. It's yeah, about as bad as, 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 submit, as submission. I believe that'll be the same thing. And for those wondering what War Games is, is Two rings, whole thing covered by a cage, 
and people beating the crap out of each other for 30 minutes until uh, until everybody's in and after that it's the match beyond where it's by submission only yep it's like the it's like the yabapai indian strap match of team battles when but all of the better. options yeah wait 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 no 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 we can't say that it's, yeah it's the yabapai indian strap match matty it's it, it's the most brutal match ever devised by the hands of no, man. No, it's not. No, it's yes, not. It no, why it's you not. Think there's only, why do you think there's only been one? It's too You've, brutal. Dude, it's Hulk Hogan. You're buying into Hulk Hogan Kool-Aid again. Yeah, buy you need punishment strapage, brother. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... And Lord, knowing Ricochet, he'll probably do some crazy shit like jump off the cage and somehow end up in back in uh, <laughs> somehow end up back in New Japan, still flipping, and then find his way back on the main roster, and then finally <laughs> land doing a, a doing a four thousand four hundred and thirty eight degree suit and star press onto everyone. Jesus Christ, can you imagine and I, that? When I say everyone, I, and when I say everyone, I don't mean people in the match. I mean everyone. <laughs> that's fair enough and, and, and by the way shades kept uh, by kept five bucks of that money by the way evil reverend I, he gave me 15 bucks of it because well he could use it as well to be fair and it was his paypal so nice and we've been he's been kind of strapped for cash i said if i got a donation to keep five bucks so there you go no big deal but thank you much appreciate rbt and team it does appreciate it by the way mm-hmm and I'm technically broadcasting on his Twitch, but we're not going to talk about that shit. I got the money. It's there, like swimwear. A little late for, for, the, for the this month's uh, stuff and things, but I'm pretty sure that's going to pay for my... Uh, actually, I could be paying for the, uh, for the Lyft or Uber or whatever. I am overthinking this, and I'm going to move on. Um... Mm-hmm. That's not the only match, believe it or not, that was announced. They had Tommaso Ciampa versus a Velveteen Dream uh, announced for the NXT Championship with uh, with a Lars Sullivan all kinds of pissed off. So that'll be a to be continued, obviously. <laughs> and uh, Alistair Black wants to murder Johnny Gargano. He'll get his chance in a singles match at War Games. Yes. Yeah. Where is he? Where is he? Flop. I'm right here. Mic drop. Boo! And, yeah. and in the back there, Tommaso Ciampa had the biggest stiffy ever. Yes, welcome to the dark side, Johnny Wrestling. <laughs> he actually went on Twitter and said, we could glorious bomb people again now. <laughs> <laughs> again, yeah. Tommaso Ciampa, heel of the fucking year. <laughs> Better yet, just just have Johnny Wrestling team up with Dean Ambrose and be a team. They just <laughs> no, 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 no. Dean Ambrose, Tommaso Ciampa, Johnny Gargano. There's your heel trio right there. But what to name them? Hmm. Hmm. Assholes Anonymous. The douches. Nah, nah, nah. They don't wear douchey clothing. Mm. DYL, do your lunatic? It's got a good ring to it, but mm, I don't know if it fits. How about <clears throat> Betrayal? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. What am I doing? What, what am I? What, what kind of bun guy am I? I'm rusty here. Don't you mean, uh, don't you mean this over here? Betrayal! <laughs> what? Betrayal! Betrayed, Betrayed me. me! And their theme song <laughs> is the Betrayal song. Yeah. <laughs> Betrayal! <laughs> Betrayal! Betray me! ba da ba 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 da dum ba da ba 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 this company sucks. <laughs> anyway, uh, on the Survivor Series side, and goddammit, they did announce it. Fuck. 
Ronda Rousey and Becky Lynch are going to face uh, for in a champion versus champion match. Seth Rollins no, will no, face. No, no, let's, let's ho, ho, ho. Yeah, yeah, this one. This one, yes. Do it, man. Yeah. Do it. Yeah, Do this it. one. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get I'm gonna get the bullshit out of the way. I'm going to get the good stuff. I'm going to get the bullshit, and I'm going to get the real good stuff. Yeah. Rousey versus Becky Lynch. Yes. Okay. Brock versus AJ. <laughs> fuck. No one gives a fuck. Move on. Just fuck. Oh, oh, guys. Yeah, yeah. It's going to feel yeah. like I'm having audio sex with your ears when I say the following here. Come on, Matt. Come on, champion, man. I'm at, I'm at. Champion yeah, versus I'm champion. I see versus U.S. Yeah. Seth Rollins, Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh. Oh. Let the orgasms commence. Oh, yeah. Give these two 20 fucking minutes minimum. Oh. Please. Please. Oh, get minimum 30. <laughs> The King Slayer versus the King, the King of, Strong, of Strong, Strong, Strong Style. Tyler Black versus Nakam. The first NXT champion versus one of the greatest NXT champions. Ugh. The current Intercontinental Champion versus the greatest IWGP Intercontinental Champion of all time. Oh my God. You would, like, you, you like yeah, even... obviously Shinsuke Nakamura's stock has lowered a little bit, but god damn it, it's Tyler Black versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Fucking A! You better like, get to make Fuck this company, but god damn, fuck this company. <laughs> fuck this company, but fuck this company. Fuck this company, but fuck this company. It's, yeah! It's fuck a little company. combination of an abusive relationship. It's like... <laughs> It's it's back to Spoonie. I can't leave him. I love him. <laughs> they throw so much shit at us, and yet they just give us this gem, like right there in the middle of a fuck off pay per view. It, it, it's gonna be part of their long road of apology. Let's. let's... <laughs> no, this was this was Triple H. This was this all... is Triple H. This yeah, was, this was trips all over. It may be Trip, it but is. I'm sure Trip would say, look, Vince, we have to apologize. Okay. I don't apologize for nothing. I You're apologize, you sons of bitches. You're going to, whether you like it or not. <laughs> what, what are you going to do if I don't? Oh, I'm just going to take over your company, and you know I can. So what? I've got, like, billions stocked up in the bank. <laughs> uh, and who on. remembers the account number for you? <laughs> I do. <laughs> And Mike Shell, I don't need own oh, somebody. I need a cigarette after that announcement. I'm I'm drinking, folks. I have a Guinness sitting here while you I. Know the, eat. You know the best way to to book this match? Just have Shinsuke randomly show up on Raw, giving <laughs> giving Seth Rollins low blows. <laughs> <laughs> Seth is cutting a promo on 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 Dean. Dean says nothing. He just points to him to turn around. Shinsuke punching the balls. By the way, Boom. by the way, just so that we can state this, uh, Ronda Rousey versus uh, Becky Lynch in a break both arms match. You know, this is the battle the of the arm bars. Their, their That's what it is. It's the the Sarmer versus the 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 the, Ron, the Rousey arm bar. This is the battle of the arm bars. <laughs> there will be Chris an Jericho arm somewhere. Broken. Chris Jericho just had the weirdest boner, and he does not know why. Well, screw this. Screw you that. Know what? You know what would make that match perfect, though? If the special guest referee was Pentagon Jr. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> and There's he comes, Pentagon he comes, he comes to the ring with a chub. Uh, you, fo you folks, you folks, well, that's not going to happen. He's not going to let him dream. <laughs> let him. Let him dream here. And he'll come to the ring with a chub because he knows somebody's going to get their arm broke. <laughs> okay. All right. Can't wait. Uh -oh. Couple minutes? Yeah. Oh. Right. Oh. Just a couple minutes. Couple minutes. If you need to leave, dude, go right oh, ahead. Oh, sorry. I thought... Okay, Madison went on Botchamania. I, uh... <laughs> we I, heard um... that, yeah. 
No, she needs me to take the covering off the air conditioner so she can turn it on. Is it that warm again? Yeah. It's humid, too. I'll well, be back to be in fair, like yeah. three minutes. Damn, it's bloody chilly over here. I'm in yeah, my it's, yeah. it's 39 Fahrenheit up here, so there you go. Yeah, uh, I'm, in, I'm in my freaking Snuggie right now. <laughs> yes, I wear a Snuggie. You got a problem with that? Anyway, so let's talk about the stuff and things. We brought up Braun Strowman. I'm not going to bring that up again because, seriously, fuck you. Braun is dead. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so here, so let's talk about some bit of news before we get to the actual stuff and things of the rest of the show. Uh, Brian was uh, that uh, worked the Grand Royal Rumble, but it's against doing the crown drill because of he learned of the country, of what he learned. So basically, he did the Grand Royal Rumble because he didn't know. And then once he knew, it was like, oh fuck, I'm not no, not not anymore. Uh, would... Basically, their treatment of homosexuals in the country is what uh, the big reason here. I'm and surprised. let's. Talk about the Pro Wrestling Illustrated Female 100 real quick. Every year with this list, every year with the 500, people are going, but what about this? Kayfabe. It's called Kayfabe. Here's the thing about Pro Wrestling Illustrated. They were around when Kayfabe was upheld to to, to to the highest degree. And Pro Wrestling Illustrated always regarded not just the booking and, and what the person looked, how it looked and how it was booked and how the, the storylines. They looked at win-loss records. They looked at best matches, the, the the quality of work. Not just the quality, but just the, the way that the wins and losses. So yeah, Ronda Rousey is number one. Why? Because she's won a lot. And to be fair, this is her rookie year. And she's she blowing is. a lot of expectations out the goddamn window. She's undefeated. She's undefeated. Yeah. And Alexa Bliss, women's champion at like the 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 time uh the the year is usually just a couple months before a publication. So yeah, she was women's champion, so was Charlotte Flair for the, the most of that uh, period. Io Shirai was in stardom, she's number 4, Asuka number 5, Shayna Baszler number 6, that makes sense. Carmella was a uh, well, had a high profile year in that time. She's number 7, Nia Jax same year. My, my I, I was telling you, Kyrie Sane topped it at 10 because she was NXT champion and she was awesome. And for the record, they mentioned uh, Becky Lynch was number 11, but that was before she became women's champion and turned fucking heel. So a lot of people are saying Becky Lynch should be number one, should be this, should be that. Calm your tits. It's called kayfabe. It's kayfabe. We've, we've been over this. Pro Wrestling Illustrated what does... Everything does all the research and regards kayfabe in there as well. Yep. There's a reason why Kenny Omega won because he was booked well and did very he, a did very well was booked very well and had a good clean a good win win loss record. Yep. And the so, year before that, there was a Kazuchika Okada because he's Kazuchika freaking Okada. And Pugsley, I'm saying PWI is. A, that's not what I'm saying. It's not a credible list. It is a credible list. Because it factors everything, including kayfabe. It's not just, oh, you're a good worker, or oh, I like you. It's, okay, they're good. They're very good. But objectively, how well were they booked? What were, what were their high-profile matches? What were their biggest matches of the year? How good were their matches? What's their win loss record? They keep they they have a behind the scenes view of it, and they keep what you see on TV, which ultimately is what the record books say. It's not oh this the behind the scenes thing, and this guy got fucked over, so this guy no. They look at it as like a, a career progression. So PWI is credible, it is very credible. It's legitimate. Because they look at everything, including kayfabe. Can't prep. So a lot of people pissed off Ronda Rossi got in there, but no, I'm not going to disagree with PWI. I stopped, give, I stopped being pissed at this kind of stuff years ago. Yeah. What have we stopped being pissed at? 
Uh, the um, PWI Women's 100. Yeah, a lot of people are pissed off because Ronda Rousey was uh, wasn't was number one, and <laughs> Becky Lynch was not even on the top ten list. Oh, despite oh, the you, fact oh, that you, the majority you, of her heel turn happened that after the 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 the, uh, the criteria, like the year of criteria. You mean the magazine that targets marks and works everybody? <laughs> yeah, because they tar they could they target people because they well controversy because they look at everything, including kayfabe. I just went over a rant on that. Well, yes. I just got back, so <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Yeah, Shawn Michaels, with the reason why he's not wrestling anymore, I don't feel a lot of pressure to be the show stopper to be WrestleMania anymore. But there you go. He's not done to do that. Uh, mm -hmm. How about this? Bit of a rumor. Green of salt. Dave Meltzer talked about uh, New Japan possibly offering big money to sign WB talents. Uh, quote, there are some offers that have been made to some guys in WB that surprised me in the sense that how much they could make outside of WWE. He added, quote, one person who is there got an offer so for ridiculous money for way less dates, and it's very much surprised me. This could would be one of the top guys in WWE. New Japan is weird, but they are willing to pay real big money like they did Chris Jericho. End quote. WCW. <clears throat> very good. Can but here's the thing. New Japan is WCW, except, WC, except they could kick all the asses. Yeah. And considering the state of WWE right now, it would not surprise me at all if certain people who were offered those lucrative contracts would make the jump to New Japan. Because here's the thing. That roster, both injured... Uh, like You factor NXT, NXT UK, 205 Live. You, you figure Raw, SmackDown, you know, NXT. Everyone involved, including the injured reserve list. They have the strongest roster in history, and yet they're wasting them. Yep. Remember they could the like some legit talents like Finn Balor, like Shinsuke Nakamura. Like they could poke, they could poke those guys out, plug them into the system, and I, I'm pretty sure yes, the Japanese folk would be a little uh, awestruck. But with the right opponents, i.e., Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega, you could pull off classic matches. And it would not feel too so out of place. But you also got to remember that there's a lot of people right now in New Japan that's not very happy about. The, it's the rumor. Curse. If 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 you believe that, that Tama Tonga would like to kick your ass. Because <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people, Tama says, "Well, everyone's happy. There, it's international expo exposure, more work, yes, but more money on the table." Yep. So there's that argument. Yeah, remember, and, re and there's probably a lot of disgruntled people in the WWE who felt they haven't got the, the, the shine that they deserve. Like, look at the Revival. Remember when the they revival were Revival considered... especially. If there's anyone that could kick all of the ass in Japan right now, the Revival would be among them. With their style and their work rate? Shit. It'd be like the return of, like the, of Gallows and Anderson, in a sense. Yep. They're smaller, but... That that tag that kind of tag team work, I could. They would be a fit in that heavyweight division. They they would they they would blossom in that in in the in the in the heavyweight Japan tag division. division. They would. Yeah, they, they would blossom. And that's one example. You know, you got Finn Balor, who you know, obviously he got his shot, but now beyond just that one big match at SummerSlam, he's been floundering. And Cesaro, Apollo Cruz, who's got all the talent in the world, he just needs just. The ability to showcase his, no, his sets. He has no he'd character. Be, he he he'd struggle at first, but if this is a high work rate company. Uh, company he could get over on that work rate alone. If it, um, I could see him thriving only if he went through the young lion system like Juice did. Ooh, that's a tough sell for Apollo, though. Yeah, but look at look at Juice. Look at Aunt Juice, yeah. And um, look at Cesaro. Yeah, yeah. Immense, Cesaro, immensely Cesaro talented. would be like the big one. Cesaro and or Sheamus. Oh. Yeah, but the, the talk is that Sheamus is probably going to be retiring soon because he has... Yeah, he does have the neck issue that's been bothering. He's That's why he's been working more tag matches than anything else. Because they want to stretch him as much as possible while not, you know, putting him on the shelf. 
which mm-hmm. makes sense. But put Cesaro in like the either Intercontinental or the Never Open Weight division. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, Cesaro versus Ishi. Cesaro, no Ishi. Cesaro versus Goto. C- Cesaro versus Suzuki. Oh, actually, no. You know what? I could see Cesaro join a group like Suzuki Goon. Actually, yeah, he would. He- be a perfect fit for Suzuki. Yeah, people go, wait, wait, Suzuki Goon? What about Bullet Club? What about Bullet Club? That wouldn't be a fit like, like the current Bullet Club? No. A couple years ago, maybe. Now, no. Suzuki no. Goon. The Goons. The Goons. Yeah, you Just... gotta do it. Who yeah, is who, it? Who is... who is it? Goons. Goons? Suzuki Goons. Suzuki Goon. <laughs> 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 or what? Or Damn, who else would be good going to making the jump? Um, uh, this is purely speculation, by the way. We're, expect, just, we're, being, we're being speculative. Yeah. But, and I'm looking at people who aren't up there but should be up there. You know, that's, you know, that could be, that could get the big money and be a good fit in New Japan. Ooh. A lot of people, what about Neville? I was like, Neville's a good fit in Dragon Gate, folks. He's a Dragon Gate guy. Um, Rusev. Rusev. Yeah, Rusev. Rusev I mean, seems happy in WWE, though. To be fair, yeah, but he hasn't been. They haven't. They haven't pulled the trigger on him as as much as they should have. Yeah, to me, Rusev seems like a WWE lifer. But you know what? I could see him with matches. Who could be a good fit with him in, in uh, as an opponent for less opponents? That's a thing. Mm. He versus Bad Luck Fall. They could be a knockdown drag out. I could I yep. could see that. Um, Tama. Tama Tonga. I, I could see that. Hmm. Uh, so, so, so many possibilities. Michael Elgin. Like, yeah, big dick, but big big douche. But he's a douche, but, Rusev, but again, on a pure just work rate, like just put Michael Elgin versus Rusev. Yeah, forget best the forget the fact that he's a garbage human being, but I'd be like, I would be interested in that matchup. Yeah, best best of seven right there. Ooh, yeah. Uh, um, but, uh, who um, who uh, damn who who is good? I was just about to say Wonder Bread, but I like oh Wonder Drew Gulak, yes. but he's he's at least a couple years out for sure. Still yeah. with WWE, and he's a good fit in WWE. I, I, I think division. the immediate targets are going to be Cesaro and some of the tag teams. I can what see few, that, yeah. What, what few tag teams there are. Yeah, but I think... Yeah. I, and it's all going to depend on what's going to happen uh, with the Raw tag team titles. Uh, because, you know, the SmackDown tag team titles, that, that has been awesome. Yeah. Like the, yeah. The, to be fair... Very fair to WWE. The SmackDown title scene has been awesome for over more than a year because first you had the Usos, then you finally had them beat. An unfortunate injury took out um, Eric Rowan. Yeah, and then they the, 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 the Bludgeon Brothers. Brothers. Yeah, Brothers. you know, come to think of it, yeah, SmackDown's tag division's been pretty good. New Day, The Bar, the Usos, Uso. Rowan, Hanson, Hans, I mean, uh, not uh, Rowan and Harper is what I'm about I... to say. I would say sanity, but what the fuck are sanity doing in yeah. any? Yeah. My God, I feel bad for Big Demo. I really do. I really do. Killian Dane is being wasted on the main roster, unfortunately. Yeah, and and because it, it's, WWE needs really needs to get their shit together because here comes New Japan. They're offering their more money for less dates and better booking. And they they probably hold up Cody Rhodes as an example of it, and I would not be surprised if some of them right now are thinking, "Huh, maybe I should head on over to, to, to maybe Japan. Maybe I should cash in on that all in money too." Get money. that. Get but that the, nice the, other, the other thing I worry about is like there are some people I think in New Japan who deserve to be pushed that New Japan hasn't pushed, like um, Yoshihashi. Uh, Tomohiro Ishii, and he's had big spots, but he's not been pushed nearly enough as I would like him to be. 
um, Evil, Sonata, uh, a lot of members of the junior heavyweight division. And what's going to happen to them if there's an influx, uh, particularly of international I'm talent. not worried about New Japan putting a massive influx. I mean, maybe just one or two guys. Yeah. Just help. Got me a lot of people need because a lot you just mentioned a lot of people like that that need fresh opponents or at least opponents that show off. So not as a good example. Ishii, another example. Goto. That then again, they're f- trying to set up Goto versus Jeff Cobb in some kind of capacity. And in that case, fuck yes. Yeah. But, but I think the bottom line is they. It's it's not. Oh, they're. Not, I don't think going after the big money WWE superstar that's. Ten million dollars deep, and they they they're set for life. You don't have to take another bump after they're they're done with WWE. I think they're going with the guys that, yes, you could offer big money, less dates, but at the same time, go. We're not going to go after the money main event guys. We're going to go after the guys who we could we could do something with. And that's why I think they're going to go after the, t- the, missed, the the missed opportunity guys. Yeah, I, Cesaro I, comes up. I think the weakest division in New Japan, honestly, is the tag division. Because outside of Young Bucks and Tamatanga, as far as the heavyweight division... Gorilla's, uh, Gorilla's of Destiny is what you're thinking. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Gorilla's of Destiny. Outside of those two, who's there? Really? Yeah. They're, they really okay. replenish their heavyweight tag team scene. Only only team I can think of right now is KES. And they're right. in and out usually. Yeah, but and again, we're going a little over because we're not gonna have a show uh, next week for those wondering why is this show feels a little extra long because I don't have a show next week, so I want to get as much wrestling talk as I can because yeah. I don't want to. I want I want to watch Monday Night Raw, maybe some SmackDown after that. I'm done. R- R- Ranger stop. Uh, let's finish up the news because we still need to talk about Lucha Underground and all that good stuff. I'm not gonna talk about Impact, but I will say this: Mundo versus Killer Cross. Fuck yes. What? My, Johnny Mundo versus uh, versus Krusty Krumenkrass Cross? <laughs> so you say that, and then you, you haven't watched his, his, uh, his uh, conspiracy theory, theory promos uh, lately. I have so holy crap, they're repa- they're, Holy crap, they're repackaging him, and it's working. Well, I, I, I got nothing against uh, Krusty Krab Cross. Killer or cross. Get it right, bud. Come on. I did say it. Why why people keep saying that? I'm I'm saying it right. Say it again then. Okay, I will. Uh, 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 Come on. What's with feeling? Come on. Crackers and sauerkraut Christopher. <laughs> See, I said it right. Chat. Chris, I say it right. Killer Kevin Cross. Kavanaugh. Krispy Kreme <laughs> Kingpin. <laughs> You're not even trying. <laughs> Maddie, there's something wrong with your ears or your or, or your or, or your Skype. I'm saying it right. You must be hearing something different. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Crown Jewel, they did, they, they, yeah, they fucked a lot of things up, including Triple H's peck. He's getting surgery, but in case you're wondering, yeah. He tore a, he tore a peck. Boo-hoo. Uh. Um, Ultima Lucha, match versus ma- mask versus mask. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, Taya killed the Mundo. Not, not, not Johnny, Jimmy, or... Jeremy, whatever the fuck that crazy fucker's name is. Uh, Mask versus Mask, fuck yes. Have I mentioned mm-hmm. Mask versus Mask was a great match? I, I think I haven't. No, you Love haven't. The I kind of feel bad for that police officer lady with half of the the uh, the the medallion. She didn't feel too good. Nope. Bad juju. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna make. There will be blood, I am very sure, next week. Thank you, Mike. Ricky Mundo. I don't give a fuck about Ricky Mundo. I think he's a douche. That's a... Character-wise, of course. Uh, Let's see. Um, 
Um, I had something for this. I know I had something for this. But I think I am done. NXT, we talked about that. Impact, skimmed it a little bit. But I won't uh, skim it next week. No. <laughs> no. No, that main event. Um, I'm missing uh, anything? Not just, not just for that, but next week, Jordan Grace debuts. Ooh, yeah. She does something for me. <laughs> Is it the same way that um, Scarlet, uh, I hope I'm saying, if it Budex? Bordeaux. 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 It's the same you don't listen Bordeaux. to the commentary or the announcements, do you? You're just a, oh, Scarlet, you just read it. Bordeaux? It's Bordeaux. Bordeaux. It's French. Yeah. I'm horrible with names. You should know that by now. <laughs> no, I'm terrible with names. I'm making effort. You're just you're just shit at names and don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's French. I speak a little French. <laughs> you're an asshole. Pardon my French. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you all. Uh, no, oh, no, wait, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait hold on. Shin? Yes? Did, did, did Burt Reynolds come back? Yes, he did. <laughs> there we go. That explains it. <laughs> well, had I known you were going to go with the Burt Reynolds gimmick, I would have totally went for that for the stinger this week. Jesus. <laughs> That's right. I like to keep you on your toes. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I get that. <laughs> anyway, I, I, you know what? Let's, let's just get to it. Uh, we got winners and losers. I, I feel we need we to do win, winners and losers. We begin with the losers and we begin with Mattis. Um, I'm going to give a double, triple, quadruple fuck you to the Saudis. Uh, <laughs> That's and, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, for putting... Uh, because if you... Uh, in my mind, I know everybody else is going to say WWE is loser, and rightfully so, but oh, at the yeah, same yeah, time, yeah. Uh, I think that by not... By giving the fuck you to WWE and not enough fuck yous to the Saudis, you let them get away with their bullshit. So... Um, that's pretty much my one loser because that's fair enough I, for the most part outside of uh, how horrible crown jewel was good week actually yeah i forget the whole shit show that was crown jewel they had a pretty decent week to be fair shen <sighs> for this i'm going to have to channel riley freeman from the boondocks oh hello and if if you guys in the chat or anyone in in this um in on the rock podcast know anything about the boondocks, you know what I'm trying to what I'm gonna be saying. Okay, as for my thoughts on Crown Jewel, <clears throat> look, Crown Jewel, fuck you. Fuck Braun Strowman, fuck Brock Lesnar, fuck Paul Heyman, fuck Triple H, fuck Shawn Michaels, fuck The Undertaker, fuck Kane, fuck Shane McMahon. Fuck the World Cup. Fuck the Saudis. Fuck they oil. Fuck them sheets they wear on their faces. Fuck their, fuck their Cadillacs. Fuck their oil. Fuck their war. And fuck their hacksaws. This is this is WWE. My wrestling is supposed to be good. My my storyline is supposed to make sense. And all this and, and I'm paying nine nine for it. Now get the fuck out of here. If I see you on the street, slapping the shit out you. <laughs> You know, Mattis, I don't think we're going to put it any better than that, actually. Nope. <laughs> That's well put. Well put. And well referenced. Thank you. <laughs> also, a very excellent loser list right there. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, I got WWE and Saudi Arabia as obvious ones. Uh, Shane McMahon, what? I have not watched any of this shit, by the way. I just caught glimpses and clips here and there while I was at work. Uh, thank you, YouTube, for that. But mm -hmm. Shane McMahon, what the fuck are you doing? Vince, what the fuck? The whole goddamn company, what the fuck? One step forward, two steps fucking back. No, this wasn't two steps back. This was like a football field backwards. <laughs> this is Nick Folk territory. This is, this is Jadavion Clowney territory. Zane Gonzalez, put your motherfucker back down. Oh, hold on, what am I doing? 
Why scream it when I got the button for it, for God's sakes? Yes, you do, what? Put it's your motherfucking head, head back head down, head dummy. dummy! There you go. Actually, no, that's not enough. Vince McMahon! I would rather watch New Japan than your bullshit right now! Put your motherfucking head back down! And we will in like five hours. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, they got another pay per view coming up, don't they? Yeah, it's t this morning. <laughs> Power Struggle. Yes. yes. You should watch evil. that. I'll probably watch that in the afternoon while putting the, the, the stuff together. It's Jericho versus Evil for the IWGP title. Um, it's uh, t -t 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 it's uh, Nigo versus Zack Sabre Jr. Uh, let's see. It's uh, going to be Goto versus uh, Taichi in a uh, never open weight rematch. No, 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 wait, never open weight title match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tomohiro Ishii versus Minoru Suzuki, I believe, for the British... Uh, uh, British well, heavyweight title, the Rev, Rev Pro, the Rev British Pro, heavyweight title. Yeah, company, Rev Pro. I knew it was yeah, Pro I'm slipping, Die Hard Gamer. You notice it's like it's WB sucks the life. I love like the life and love of wrestling. Every time I watch it, and I seem to forget there's good wrestling out there. But yeah. thank there's you. A, and, uh, I can't remember whose tag partner is, but it's Rosh Tanahashi versus the Golden Lovers. Um, ah, I, I think it's um, Toba Makabe. I told you, Makabe. No, no, yeah. it's David Finley, actually, actually of all people. Oh, uh, fair so enough. So David Finley's going to be taking the fall. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's um, the finals of the junior heavyweight tag tournament. Yeah, yeah, the the, 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 the super junior tag tournament, yeah. By the way, I, I am uh, revising my list of uh, winners this week. By the way, feel free. By the way, Mattis, feel free to do your winners. By the way, <laughs> oh, winners. Oh, okay. Uh, first off, Evolution and everybody involved in Evolution because, oh my God, great job, women! Women did an amazing show, and that actually just reminded me of a loser I forgot, Kevin Dunn. Oh, we forgot about that. Yeah, Kevin what? Dunn apparently because he wasn't involved in, with Evolution, didn't care about it, and didn't want to. Do any recap on Raw this past week? Yeah, oh. I read about that. Oh, fuck you, Kevin, Kevin Dunn. Dunn. Kevin Dunn. So yeah, uh, fuck you, Kevin Dunn. <laughs> Go ahead, Shin. Oh, my winners? No, no, no. I, I thought you were a comment on Kevin Dunn. Yeah. No, no, fuck him. Just straight up, fuck him. <laughs> yeah. All right, good. Keep going with your your winners there. So, uh, the um, all of WWE, a particular Wednesday night programming with NXT UK, NXT 205 Live. You guys are just killing it. And of course, last but not least, the fucking New Day. Yes. For that entrance. The Brood. The Brood. <laughs> <laughs> to, to quote a um, oh god, I'm blank, now I'm blanking on the name of the artist. Just say uh, just save the quote. Yeah. You're the last thing I never knew I needed. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, before I get the Shintai curl, Mike Shell. Vince is running wrestling like Haim Saban is running Super Ninja Steel. Mike, true words could not have been spoken. Oh, I don't know if you folks uh, listen to the recap. I know some of you do. Uh, Super Ninja Steel has just turned into a massive shit show. Sadly, that bad. I gets bad. That's got it's got easy to go. I don't want to do this, and Man. it's not because of uh, the the three of uh, the, the John or I or or the crowd because he likes inter the interaction and the, the jokes and everything. But the, the show is just shit. It just shit the bed hard. Like, I'm not going to bore you into the details. I'm going to say is if you're, you're going to watch Ninja Steel, watch up until episode 20, like the first season. If it, it's on Netflix, just watch the first season. Forget the Super Ninja Steel. It's cut, copy, paste. That's all I'm going to say there. All right. Shen, your winners. Uh, well, uh, Dean Ambrose for being, well, being Dean Ambrose. Yeah. <laughs> evolution, because evolution was a mar marvelous 
marvelous show, especially Charlotte versus Becky. Mm. AJ versus DB for free. It was great. We didn't deserve it, but we, we needed it. We didn't deserve it, but circumstances gave it to us, and I'm fine with that. Uh, pretty much any anything go any wrestling going on on Wednesday nights. It's always good. <laughs> great stuff. Uh, the new day for coming out dressed as the brood <laughs> and all of us losing our collective shits <laughs> that must have been an interesting that must have been an interesting interesting segment on riff down this week everyone everyone pretty much lost our shit to this <laughs> I, I dvr both raw and smackdown because i come home late from class i have watched that segment at least 30 times <laughs> <laughs> just the entrance in fact <laughs> Can't say I blame you. And for my final winner, it's not going to be wrestling related, but because he fucking deserves it, the Mexican runner. Fair for enough. Those of you, you know, those who don't know, the Mexican runner is a YouTuber who is also a speed runner who is prominently featured in a lot of um, uh, AGDQs. Both yeah, win, S- both SGDQs. Both. I think I've seen him. We're doing a couple of runs when he uh, when I watched uh, the games done quick earlier. Yeah, he has he has several world records for Battle Toads. Both. Ah, he has beaten Battle Toads without losing a life. Beaten Battle Toads without using any warps. Beaten Battle Toads. Mike Shell. With- Mike Shell. Uh, Mike Shell asked. He finally did it. Yep, he finished his Nessamania, where his his quest to beat. Every single released NES game ever made. 714 wow. games over five years. Damn. No, wait, he actually had to play Jekyll and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? Every hard game for the NES that you have heard of, he has beaten it. Dr. Bastard. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, beaten. Battletoads, beaten. Silver Surfer, beaten. Uh, <laughs> Top Gun, one and two. God damn. Deadly Towers. Beaten. You poor bastard. Congratulations, though. Congrats. He is he is a gamer we should all strive to be. I'll take that. So those are my winners. <laughs> I'll keep mine simple uh, this week. Uh, evolution. Everyone involved in, in Evolution. And not Kevin Dunn, obviously. And Die Hard Gamer. 714 games? Holy fucking shit. That's my reaction. And right he, did a, he, did, he did every game in one sitting. You poor bastard. That's all I'm going to say there. Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, Evolution, including uh, the match online, Becky Lynch, Charlotte, ladies. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Lovely work. Congratulations. Uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling for kicking all the asses as per usual and reminding me that they are, they do exist, and I'll be watching that tomorrow while I begin the packing process for next week. Uh, War Games, because God damn, that's gonna be fucking fun. Yes. AJ Styles, Daniel Bryan, great, excellent television championship match there for the WB title. New Day for the Brood. And, uh, <laughs> and evil reverend with the rocky horror picture show reference for those who kept an eye on the chatty what i oh, am salivating with anticipation <laughs> and he just now went patient patient <laughs> that's good stuff evil reverend. i'll give you a winner for that why not yeah yeah he gets a win for that too <laughs> One quick plug uh, for Mattis. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, well, we're in the plugs. We actually, it's officially November 3rd, so we have yes. to say happy birthday to the king of ah. all kaiju. Godzilla was born on this date in 1964. Ah. So, happy birthday to one of my heroes. The God. big J. The big J. Yep. Okay. So coming down the line, I do have a new Tom's prerogative coming down. Hopefully, at some point next week, I'm going to be reviewing the original "Where Are You, Scooby Doo." Um, School work got in the way. I wanted to have it out by Halloween, but things fell through. Hey, circumstances, circumstances. Uh, uh, also, uh, I'm 
hopefully episodes 98 of uh, uh, CMG's Wrestling Review will be on Evolution, but I'll also cover everything I've missed that I wanted to review. It's been difficult because episode. I'm planning something special for episode 100, and I'll announce it here. I'm planning on switching over to video. Oh, okay. So, and I want to do episode 100 at the beginning of the year with Wrestle Kingdom. Uh, uh, Wrestle Kingdom 13. Uh, 13. 13. Wrestle Kingdom 13. So I'm trying to pace myself. So there's some shows I'm missing because of that. You know uh, what? You know what? The greater good. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So episode 99 will be on Survivor Series. 98 will be on Evolution. And I will cover everything that's like in New Japan that has happened, like uh, Spirit Unleashed and stuff, very briefly. That makes sense. Including Crown Jewel. Uh, unfortunately, but uh, so yeah, that's all. For those who yeah. don't who didn't catch on, Mattis did force himself to watch that that shit show. You I poor bastard, is all I'm gonna like say. Optimus Prime. Anyway, <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> 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 so that that's uh one thirty two productions. No, wait, wait. Let me get the with the URL right this time. One, it's 132productions.com. Uh, it's uh, I forget. A-N. I forget. A-N. Dot 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 132productions.com. <laughs> I was missing two letters there. <laughs> and, of course, now you can also find the videos on YouTube by searching the Absolution Network. Aha. Uh-huh. There we go. Make things easier for folks. Yeah. <laughs> and another birthday plug for Shane Tiger Curl, the book. The book, the book, the book, New World. Yes, 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 yes the book. Amazon.com, <laughs> Kindle or paperback. It's 20 bucks, folks. Yes, even though I only see like two bucks of that, please go and buy it. If you do buy it and read it, please leave a review in the comments. It really helps out with getting exposure for my book. There you go. But as well as other stuff, I just finished doing a mini audio, a mini audio book for... I, for my Warmer Horde series, Destiny of a Bullet, where we go through the go through a job for one of the deadliest sharpshooters in all of Western Emerin, Kale Baylock, mm. as he hunts a as he hunts a a a, a, a target in the frozen w- wastes of northern Cador. It's a pretty good story. Uh, I'm not really working on anything that, um, as far as videos right now. I'm considering. Uh, reading, doing a live, doing a um, a reading of uh Frank Herbert's Dune. I figured out, figured I needed to do something else. Also, for those of you who are interested, yes, I am currently working on a sequel to Zelda and Sonic's Day Out. Oh, yes, yes. I- <laughs> You it know is. what? If it, if it directs you to your actually good work, why not? Yes, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> you can take a hit for the greater good. For the greater good. <laughs> but uh, other than that, you can um, t- you can you can always find out my find my stuff on Maxicorn on YouTube. Ooh. Also, I check me out on t- tomorrow on for um. Twitch.tv slash entire curl. I'm going to be streaming some games. I couldn't stream today because of a technical snafu, but tomorrow I will be hopefully streaming some Switch games, probably some One Piece, maybe some ah. Armello. I would have I would have tried to do The World Ends With You, but that game is damn near impossible to stream. Mm. So that's all I'm going to do. went, it went well on, the, the, on the sequel fanfic. Which Game Grumps must read. Good luck getting them to read it. They haven't answered none of my, they haven't answered none of my tweets back. So. <laughs> anyway. As far as what's going on on RMT, the schedule is available. Uh, typing exclamation point schedule like I said just did in the chat room for you or in the description of the streaming page at twitch.tv slash rvtnrt. We have stuff usually every day of the week. However, obviously, we're not going to be around. I'm not going to be around on Wednesday. I'll be in Florida 
Uh, Tokarevs will not be la will not be live, but we will be doing a uh, actually Tokarevs is live, excuse me, but recap will not be live this Thursday, but it will be recorded for posterity. Uh, we will because we would take a day of uh, a day of uh, you know we would take the day off uh, or the week off, but uh, it's the last two episodes, and as much as we want to avoid Super Ninja Steel with a with a 28,000 foot pole we uh we uh we 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 you know we gotta we gotta finish this fucker two more bites that's all i gotta say that's all i'm gonna say there and mike shell as you mentioned will be in in in, the, in in attendance for that as a witness and booze will be involved because we are adults and at this point if it helps deep. If it helps us riff, I will take the I'll take the boozeaholic lube. Cause god damn it, if Heim Salman's gonna fuck us, I'm getting the lube, god damn it. Phrasing boom, both berries out. So the schedule's up there, of course, obviously next week no WrestleCast. Well, yes, there will be sh I'm pretty sure there'll be some kind of thing like Chris Jericho showing up during the weekend. <sighs> well he has a match, so Cause last year Last year, Chris Jericho first appeared in New Japan while I was gone. I know because Seraph, God rest his soul, showed me the video of him popping up. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll be definitely doing that. Of course, uh, Tokyo Wrist will be on Sunday, all that good stuff. That being said, if you appreciate that, if you like this stuff, do as our people did tonight. You can give us some donate, donate some bits and some stuff and things. The links to donate uh, stuff directly to myself or DWK are in there too. Patreon.com slash DWK reviews. PayPal.me slash MetaJ316. We have a merch store as well on the streamlabs.com slash RVT Entertainment slash merch. There is a Russell Cast mug. I have not, I have not gotten it yet because I am unfortunately broke ish but as soon as i'm able to do it procure funds to purchase this mug i will do that and i'll show it off like it's my late show mug <laughs> like it's my own i got my own show mug like them late night gimmicks Yay! but that's another story for another day until then ladies and gentlemen of course hit the follow button that subscribe button we have tears for that stuff and of course uh uh you know if we're on youtube Hit the likes and subscribe so you don't miss another video. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, that is the program. We thank you very much for tuning in and saying hi for us for a little bit. And until two weeks from now, when we talk about Survivor Series weekend, because it will be the Go Home Show until then, on behalf of Mattis Leonhart, remember I am the most glorious Jew that ever lived in your wrestling messiah. And Shin Tiger Curl. You uh, want to say something? Yeah, I got to say. <laughs> After my epic closing statement, there's just nothing to be said. <laughs> For a second, I thought it was going to go Turret Ferguson on us again. <laughs> yeah, Honestly. Yeah, I got nothing to say. <laughs> My name's Manager and my professional wrestling support independent promotion as soon as possible. Thank you very much for tuning in. And if you're going if you're uh, going to Ranger Stop, I'll see you there. If you're in Orlando that weekend, I best be seeing you there. Especially at the Toka Rift Live panel, which I'll be there 2 30 Saturday afternoon. Be there, god freaking damn it. Until then, have a good one. Have a safe one. We'll see you. In two weeks! Bye, everybody! Bye! It's Muffin
In the unlikely event of a water landing. Well, what exactly is a water landing? Am I mistaken, or does this sound somewhat similar to crashing into the ocean? Your seat cushion can be used as a flotation device. Well, imagine that. My seat cushion. Just what I need to float around the North Atlantic for several days. Clinging to a pillow full of beer farts.